Hello everybody and a very good afternoon. Good morning. Welcome along to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us on this Friday. Friday! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah! It's Friday. Hopefully, yeah! <laughs> Hopefully you've had a brilliant day, you've had a brilliant week, uh, and you are ready for a Friday edition um, of Crafters TV. You missed a great wake-up call earlier on, by the way, just saying. Um, but we have still got for you a fantastic masterclass on the way from six. Uh, and right now, uh, an award-winning show. It is our Craft Along, where we do a project for you in real time. It's a lot of fun. Um, on all these projects as well, um, I like to think are hugely achievable for everybody. If you can't craft along with us right now, the great thing is this show will be available for you um, on Facebook, on YouTube forever. So if you've already got the product that we're working with today, these fantastic um, nesting die frames, you can do the craft along at a later date. If you see this craft along and go, I haven't got those, you can buy them in the show and then still do the craft along at a later date. It is fantastic. And whilst we don't have a crafter with us live on the show today crafting along, do let us know if you plan on crafting along uh, maybe later on today because we always love to see your finished projects. We love to see them. So get in touch on the socials, on Facebook or indeed on YouTube, and then send in your pictures, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. And of course, you can always send your pictures to me. You can send them in to Debbie. We love to see uh, what you guys have been doing and what you are doing. Uh, so feel free to send those our way. Now, um, we are going to find out what the craft along is just before we do that i must just tell you on the website right now we do have penny deals you will find it on our main page you click on it uh, and you'll get all the details that you need right there so that's hugely exciting we've got another riddle for you today as well which perhaps i'll do in just a few moments time basically solve the riddle find yourself a massive discount on an unbelievable product today's is amazing and we've also got uh, some amazing news on a product which is flying out of the door uh, which is officially launching today, which I won't spoil the surprise as to what it is because I know the lady the other side of the studio who's going to tell you about the craft along wants to tell you about this because she is super duper excited. She's been doing cartwheels up and down the corridor. She's been jumping for joy. It is Debbie Fisher, Debbie McGiggles with, what you got Debbie? <laughs> Yay! Yes! Hey, it speaks for itself. All purpose white multi purpose cardstock. Uh, it's not that we don't do white multi purpose no. cardstock, but we don't do it in this size. We don't. Look at it! But it we is do now. Oh, glory! I can't tell you how excited I am to have this. I know every crafter out there will be super excited to be able to now get this from Crafters Companion. Uncoated, our stamping cardstock, our cutting cardstock, our die cutting, our embossing, everything cardstock stock which is why it's called white multi-purpose uh, it's uncoated so you can put your inks on it it takes all your inks and your watercolors as well ben so if you haven't got a watercolor card but for me having a three card stock i think you're going to see all the team using this more and more especially in construction in your card blanks i love the fact that you can literally fold it in half and have an a4 uh, card amazing you want to a really big card that's amazing um most um uh, card stock is just brilliant to use but in an a3 size just give you so much opportunity it's brand new to us today didn't even know we had it jake gave me this he just went to me debbie i'll put one on your your desk huh. and i was like you shouldn't have done that jake it's going home not see that again <laughs> so grab that because i think it's gonna absolutely well in fact it has been flying already, already. Mm. yeah we Very will um, we'll flash up the details on that for you later on but you go on the website i think it's on the shop the day page if not just type in uh, a3 and you will see it there buy it like it's going out of style because that is going to absolutely fly loads of you bought during the earlier show where you think it's 6 a.m 3 a.m and it's going to fly right now as people begin to wake up but let's talk about this craft along then so we've got the um, amazing um, nesting frame dies um, and Debbie has got an amazing project up her sleeve uh, which I know you guys are going to absolutely love so let's have a look at the finished project and then we'll get Debbie to take us through everything that we need so what are we making yeah absolutely I thought we'd do this sort of a different card where we're using our nesting dies to create the whole front of our card uh, so creating all these different nesting dies putting them all around now I use a different die to what we've got on the show today so I'm going to switch my flower dies out uh, it's still going to look very similar so if you've got these dies and absolutely use them but if you haven't we have got dies on the show uh, which you can buy and then do it at a later date so it doesn't matter what your embellishments are you can use them but I'm going to show you using the ones on the show today uh, but yeah beautiful card different design uh, you can see absolutely beautiful uh, we're also going to be doing a, um, the flower Hours onto the same colour surface and show you how we get an embossed effect uh, without actually embossing. So um, yeah, so hopefully we've got the list 
coming up now and then we can show you exactly uh, what you're going to need to create this project with uh, and also just remember that you can um, uh, you can watch back at yeah. a later date so first of all you're going to need your daisy element flower dies now these are the ones that I've used on the creation which is your dainty daisy your dreamy dandelion your charming florals and your pretty foliage I'm actually going to be using the ones today which are your fabulous florals and your blooming bow bow um, tanicals which are these ones here uh, so different designs but you can use whatever flowers you've got in your stash you're then going to need your nature's uh, garden I didn't finish reading that last list so oh, it's a little bit previous gonna, there George yeah, isn't he? see George is just getting well ahead of himself there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're also going to need your scalloped edge square nesting die frames you don't have to use your scalloped edge you can use any of the square nesting die frames uh, your sentiment of your choice uh, multimedia multi-purpose cardstock so there you go buy some today <laughs> uh, a5 heavyweight acetate you're also going to need we're using the nature's garden collection um, but you can use whatever papers you've got in your stash some linen cardstock uh, your 12 by 12 paper pad your uh, spectrum noir opaque ink pads now we're going to be using lemon tonic orange topaz um, green and or green topaz uh, your crushed velvet and also a water reactive ink pad which is your uh, uh, orange yes <laughs> now we do, do need additional items we're also going to be using uh, our dotty and normal tape pens uh, tacky glue with your fine glue in applicator your six and three millimeter red liner tape some foam pads some scissors a ball tool and foam mat uh, your pokey tool, blending sponge, your ribbon and your ultimate pro. So all those things uh, and you can get ready to craft along with us um, and Ben will explain everything about it but remember you can stop me at any point. I will stop, recap and take regular breaks. That's it and, and that's why this show is um, award winning. It's um, totally interactive so yeah, if you need a measurement um, mentioned again you can let us know if you didn't quite understand something you can let us know if you've got a question you can let us know uh, details there for you um, wherever you're watching us we've got superstar susie on the socials uh, she's always very prompt at sending through your questions so um, that will be amazing uh, christine just says hello again everyone um painting right now actually ceiling window panes i painted with sunflowers that sounds nice um i'll be doing this craft along later it looks lovely mary pat says good morning everyone from sunny montana less 55 says good afternoon from a sunny washington uk eleanor's with us hi eleanor Hi to Jane, who's watching from the south of France. Valerie's in from Glendale, Arizona. And Jennifer Joseph from sunny central Florida. A uh, few more hellos coming your way. Uh, but let's just um, get up to speed with everything um, on the show. Um, if you want to get these nesting frame dies, they are here. Now, the best way to go, obviously, is to buy the full collection. Details on your screen right now. So, launched on the 23rd of June, uh, £90, $104. You can pick these up today for just £57.56 or $67 if you're a Platinum member. You get three different um, designs. Oh, these are all muddled up now. Oh, dear. Oh, no, they're not. No, they're not. Not at all. Uh, you've got three different designs. So, you've got the square and the rectangle in the three different designs. Three um, dies within, within each, if you like. So, 18 elements in total. That's your scalloped edge square. Five by five is the largest die there. And you're going to get that in the rectangle as well. Um, the largest die you've got in the rectangle is five by seven. This one I love. I think this is probably my favorite of the lot. I love that ditzy edge floral design that you've got in the rectangle there. And then once again in that square and then you've also got the cross stitch rectangle let's tilt that back you can see that detailing a little bit better for you and then you've got that also in the square as well if you want to go individually you can or if you want to go on the two for two for 25 pounds or two for 29 dollars the card stock which uh, you guys are absolutely loving um, is flying out of the door um, this is well you you'll find it on the shop the show shop the day um, wherever you look basically on the website this is the hot item of the day it has been absolutely flying and i love this because do you know what we we, we chat about this you know we say or oh, you you let us know if you want something we'll do our very best to kind of source it and get it loads of you have chatted for ages about getting our uh, multi-purpose card in a3 size and the guys have done it which i just think is absolutely brilliant so shop and grab it today you get 30 sheets within the bundle at 10 pounds 39 or 11 dollars 96 you might want to stock up and buy more that's all i'm saying because i've got a funny feeling this is going to be one of those items like the uh, the tape pens we were talking about earlier on that will disappear and get out of stock so grab it now whilst it's here grab more than you think that you will need uh, and get it into your basket 10 39 or 11 96 whilst you're on the website 
Don't forget, we've got those 1P deals as well. By the way, I've just checked my email. Check your email boxes. The penny deals uh, on things like the Sassy and Classy stamps. We've got um, flower forming foam on there, I know. We've also got some of our craft kits uh, for a penny. It's basically buy one item, get the second item for a penny. And whilst you're also on the web, uh, there's a brand new riddle today. Um, now these riddles will leave, lead you to an item which is heavily discounted, all right? If you type it in and get it right, it comes up with a little question mark, I believe. Um, and today's well is an absolute cracker. It really, really is. So today's riddle is as follows. I usually hold books, but you crafty folk will know. I'm great for organizing your paper and card collection as it grows. What am I? So usually holds books, so what usually holds books where would you go i'm trying to help you a bit here where would you go if you wanted to maybe get a, a book where would you maybe or holds the pages of your books uh, well yeah 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 you crafty folk will know <laughs> i'm great for organizing your paper and card collection as it grows what am i thing is if you can't work it out i know people have already worked out if you check through the comments or ask somebody on the socials they'll tell you and <laughs> also <laughs> worth <bearing laughs> cheats also worth bearing in mind that the, two, the two riddles that we've already had and um, if you haven't yet solved those again um ask well i can tell you i can tell you actually can't i if you haven't solved them or can i did i do that earlier i did um so uh wednesdays i dance on a saturday under the disco light my fox trot tango and jive bright and ever so bright uh my crafting counterpart knows how to put on a show but when it comes to crafting she's the ultimate pro uh, that deal is there for you on the website the deal and these will stay live until the end of the event now for you as well and then yesterday's riddle was um, I'm sometimes filled with spices or dishes but for crafters I'll fill, fulfill your paper craft wishes bits and pieces for your scrapbook pages find them in me it won't take you ages um <laughs> that was <laughs> i never even noticed you had a brucey chin either <laughs> oh, I love it. the devil's a scrap rack i love the scrap rack um, so, <laughs> so uh, if you type in scrap rack you will find a great deal on that as well so wednesday ultimate pro yesterday scrap rack what is today's uh, loads of you've got it in the comments share if someone's struggling tell them um, it's a brilliant deal um on the item from the riddle today but let's get crazy crafting enough of this riddling nonsense let's get over to the uh, the craft along as always we're in your hands anything you need to know slow down speed up do a dance whatever it might be let us know in the comments uh, more impressions um, but let's get going where do we need to start Debbie definitely more impressions That's <laughs> where we need to start <laughs> right we're gonna first of all start we're gonna do this craft along a little bit different because oh. a lot of our of the um, uh, makes that we do over a craft along are normally all about scoring and bringing everything in and, and doing it stage by stage. Uh, actually with this, what I want to do is we want to get everything prepared first and then get creative on our cards. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take some uh, of our multi-purpose cardstock, so your white cardstock, uh, and we're gonna trim this uh, to uh, a six inch square. Okay. So I'm gonna take my guillotine, pop my cardstock in, gonna take this to um, uh, six inch. So, um, with, so let me just turn this round. Oh no, I don't know what I'm doing there. Six inches. Ooh. I was going off onto something else then, Ben, and I don't know. So just ignore me. Just ignore me. So that's my six inch okay. by six inches. Six by six. Six by six. So six inch square. So that's our first part. Pop okay. that to the side. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in our sheet of acetate. So that A5 sheet of acetate. Uh, and we're going to trim this. This needs to be five and three quarters by six and a half. So the shortest length I'm going to go in and we're going to trim that to uh, five and three quarters. So it's only a small piece off. Uh huh. So just down that side, and then we're going to trim that to six and a half. So pop that to the six and a half line, and then pop that down, okay? So that's our two pieces. That is, in fact, do that the right way. That 
doesn't. Oh yes, no, it's right. I thought I'd done that the wrong. I'd done that wrong then. Um, so this is in fact our card. We've oh right, our yeah. Card. So we're going to score that later on, but that's our top and our bottom. So your acetate is what we then going to build onto. Okay. So pop those pieces to the side. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to bring in some darker cardstock. Now you can use whatever cardstock you've got. I've took this from our nature's garden. Uh, yeah, our nature's garden sunflower collection. Um, so I'm just using the greens, uh, the light green and the lilacs in this one so taking those colors so whatever you're using in your stash uh, take that inspiration from the colors that you're using okay yeah so I'm going to take the dark green then they're going to pop that through now what we're going to do this is our dark green this is going to create our mats so we need to cut one uh, piece by five and three quarters by five and three quarters so just going to turn that round Pop that in, so that gives us our five and three quarters. And then again, turn that round and five and three quarters. Okay. So that's our first layer, so mm -hmm. pop that to the side. We're then going to cut two of them at a three inch square. So okay. again, three inches. Had to read my notes then. Three inches by three inches. There are two of those, is there? Two of those? Yeah. You we will in? recap on these. Yes. If I am going a little bit quickly, um, don't worry, I'll completely recap that whole thing. Not got okay. me to slow you up this time. You what, sorry? You've not got me to slow you down uh, this time. You didn't slow me up. We did, you did so well. <clears throat> okay, right. So uh, going back to our dark green mats, we've got one which is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then we've got two pieces which are three inch square. Okay. Um, and then we're going to pop those to one side. So they were going to go on top of our other pieces, our acetate, which is five and three quarters by six and a half. And then our main card, which is six by six. Okay, so that's all those. Remember, if you need me to stop and recap, then just ask. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our white cardstock. So I've got that, those scrap pieces from which we took off that first part, oh, which yeah. we cut our six by six. Um, we're going to uh, cut this into, we're going to cut four of these, and we need these to be one and three quarters square. So I'm going to go into one and three quarters one and three quarters, trim that down, and then we're going to cut those again one and three quarters. And four of those, you said? Four of those, yes. Okay. So that's uh, our one. Whilst you're trimming, I'll say hi to Pammy, who joins us from central New York. Miriam's in uh, from South Carolina. Hi, Miriam. Hi, Carol from Tennessee. Hi, Margie from, uh, good morning, from SoCal. SoCal, where's that? SoCal. Not Is that South enough. Cal... Oh, South, South California? South California. SoCal. SoCal. South Cal. What was the answer to yesterday's riddle, Margie? It was um, scrap rack. Scrap rack. Eileen's joined us from Puerto Rico. And just loads of you telling me how many of the A3 card stocks you've bought. Suzette Sue says, I've ordered a few packs. What's a few? I need to know how many. <laughs> What's a few? Laurie says, I've ordered seven packs of the A3. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm going to do that. I'm absolutely going to do that. But it will disappear. And Pammy says, so as much as I need to know what a few is, pardon you, uh, <laughs> Pammy says, I've just ordered a boatload of A3 uh, multipurpose. How much is a boatload? Yeah, how much is a boatload? Let Does it know. beat seven? Seven, yeah. <laughs> is a boatload more than seven? That's our total so far, that in yeah. one go, seven. Yeah. yeah. I might do ten. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. Will you beat seven? Will you beat Debbie's wanna, ten? I Let don't us know. Run out. No. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> next thing we're going to do is in your uh, sunflower book. I'm just taking some of my designs here. Uh, I've just cut one of our um, papers in half. So just taking one of those. The one that I'm going to take the one that's not too patterned. Uh, and with this one, what I'm going to do is we're going to cut these into smaller squares as well. Um, and I'm going to cut my. I'm just going to cut one out at two and. Three three quarters of an inch square. Okay. So two and three quarters. Take that down to the bottom. Trim that and again turn that round and we've got two and three quarters. And then this same strip I'm going to trim this one down as well. 
so oh have they johnny wow so much more than 11 johnny's just uh told oh me. my goodness that's amazing i love that i absolutely love that it's definitely something i'm gonna multiply you know what that makes me laugh it's like well debbie's ordering 10 i'm, gonna I'm ordering 11. 11. <laughs> good i'll show for you. you good for you <laughs> well i think i might order 12. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you won't be sorry, honestly. No. I mean, and, and I love that because actually we sort of think, why would we need all that cardstock? But actually, as crafters, we use so much. I go through multi, uh, multi-purpose multi cardstock yeah. so much, and A3 is just going to be even better now. Well, it's like you say, it's not like you're never not going to use it. Yes. You, you'll use it at some all point. So why would all you not buy more whilst we've got it? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I've got a feeling our A3 might overtake our Ooh. A4. Well, when you think about it, I, yeah. don't, I think our A4 comes in a pack of 60. So if you have yes. a pack of A3 and halve it, oh, 60. you've got your 60 sheets yeah. there. And I think when you've got a bigger sheet that you can cut More down, you can't add on to no. a bigger, uh, a smaller, smaller sheet. sheet. So I definitely think it might overtake. I shouldn't mm. really say that, but um, I, I think it could do. So multiple packs of it are going to be amazing. Wow. Right, our next thing we're going to need, we're going to need four of these and we're going to cut one and a half inch squares. So I'm going to trim this piece down to one and a half inch. And we're just going to do these as squares. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to three and then trim that piece down to one and a half. So we've got our two pieces, just like so. And then we're going to do the same again. Let's have a bit of pattern in that one. Uh, we'll go to our three and then trim those ones down to one and a half. That gives us our four pieces, okay? So I think what we'll do, I'm going to recap on okay. all of those pieces and then we'll just have a break to make sure everyone's caught up uh, with all that cutting. So let's just bring all our bits here and I'm going to just turn these all upside down so we do them the way that we've done them from the beginning. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is cut our white piece of multi-purpose cardstock six inches by six inches. Then we're going to take our acetate and we're going to trim this five and three quarters by six and a half. Um, and then we will score that later. Then we're going to take our green mats and layers. So this is our dark green uh, and I've trimmed this one to five uh, and three quarters by five and three quarters. So just one of those. Then we've got uh, two of these ones. So this one is three inch squares. So three inches by three inches. We've then took our white cardstock and we've cut four of these. So one, two, three, four. And these are one and one and three quarters. Got a, have I done that right? One, yes, I did. Yeah. They look like one and a half. That's why I questioned that. One and three quarters inch square. So one and three quarters by one and three quarters and four of those. You then want your patterned cardstock. Um, and this one, so we want one of these, which is two and three quarters uh, and two and three quarters and then you're going to take four of your pattern cardstock and like I say you can use any colours that you've got four of those and we've done them at one and a half inch square okay so all of those ones and then we're ready to start doing our die cutting in a minute marvellous just one quick question which has come in and, and yes. I think this the answer is what we've got in front of us you, uh, Jennifer just says uh, what's the best type of cardstock to use for making a box she says she's tried to use our Centura Pearl not got on so well with that there you go. And you, look, there's the answer. <laughs> it's on your screen. That's what you need, Jennifer. Yeah, it is absolutely perfect. I mean, Centura Pearl is good. What I would say with Centura Pearl is you might need to score it a few times. Um, please go and look at tutorials that we do have because um, uh, box making is really simple. I, I would tell you to go back. I can't remember how long ago it was now. It wasn't last week. It was the week before. Um, and me and Ben done a craft along where we created a box. And it tells you how to do a really simple box. Um, but it just really works. So all those little hints and tips are brilliant. Uh, but please go online and see about all to, like box making tutorials um, because it is easy to do. But this multi-purpose cardstock, honestly, for construction is amazing. And then you can do all your mats and layers with your uh, 12 by 12 paper pads that you can put all on top of your boxes. Uh, but believe me, when uh, we bring out the Ultimate Pro, when we bring out all our um, USB sticks, uh, we have got a new one coming out later. I'm not sure I'm allowed to say 
say that, uh, but you're going to need this cardstock to go with that. So uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. If you want to try your box making, try this cardstock. Yeah, so we created a great, uh, great box when we did uh, did the craft along. Great box we created. That's the demo of the uh, <laughs> demo of the week. There, your chance to vote for that uh, week on Sunday for the demo oh, of the month. Demo, demo of the month. Demo of the month. I made it all, Johnny. Oh. I feel like you cheated me out of a star, though, Ben. What? I think you cheated me out of a star. Well, here's the thing. I feel a bit bad because it was... <laughs> oh, I mean, no, please No, 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 because the funny thing is, it's like, in one demo of the demo of the week, I did actually... I mean, I, I followed your demo, but it wasn't my demo, but, you know, I'm taking it, so shush. Uh, <laughs> week on Sunday, you, you can vote for that as your demo of the month. Guess who's on that show as well? You. Oh, he's going to be, yeah, plugging himself. <laughs> I, I think it should win. I have to, do you know what? I have to say, I actually think it should win. Uh, I think you put so much effort into that. You were so pleased with yourself. I'm super proud. I feel like happy mummy. <laughs> you won last week. I know. I see I had an extra star. Demo of the so, week. Yeah, yeah. So thank you. Yeah, I said thank you very yeah. much. So, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, blood, sweat and tears. Into, well, not, not blood, but sweat. And, not actually tears. A lot I of sweat into that. I think you've got a good that. chance of getting another star, Ben. Do you think? Oh, get well, yeah, I'll get a glittery one of in the month, won't I? See? Johnny made me laugh because he says, oh, he's happy to work a weekend when uh, he, can, he can get for demo of the month. <laughs> he's in he's like a shop, <laughs> A uh, few hellos coming in. I think we're all pretty good for um, for questions. Uh, Nana Kim joins us saying good morning from North Carolina, fellow crafters. Uh, Woohoo, UPS uh, delivering my Gemini today from the HSN Craft Day. Amazing. Enjoy. Uh, Trisha says, oh, wow, A3. I know. Uh, Deborah says, good morning from Texas. I got my A3 ordered. Penny deals and other stuff, of course. Penny deals on the website. Happy Friday. Hey to Laurie who joins us saying what an awesome craft along project. It's going to be an absolute corker. Uh, Pammy says, I've ordered six of the A3 cards. So I might go back and get more. I love the A3 size and multi-purpose is perfect for making everything. Uh, now that I'm on the design team, HSN design team, I need lots of it. Well, wow, congratulations. Uh, Judy says hello from Montgomery. Uh, Tammy's in from Lon and Lon 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 Lonedale, Montana. Uh, and Stephanie joins us as well saying good morning, Ben, Debbie, the team and crafters everywhere. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. Uh, starting off beautifully in New Jersey. Keep the comments coming through. Want to know how many of these you're ordering? Uh, Stephen says it sounds like a competition is brewing. I think we've got 11 is the most so far. We haven't been able to tag uh, who's done, who's bought that, but 11 is the most uh, anyone's bought so far. Have you bought more? Uh, right, let's have a look at these outline dies. Best ever price on these. You buy three, you get three free. I said you buy three, you get three free. Yeah, unbelievable these. These are um, really, really beautiful um, in the fact that you've got these really ornate um, dies and that you can use for so many different things. Um, you know, paper piecing particularly. Oh, by the way, I put up on my Instagram um, the card I made Laura. It was Laura's birthday yesterday, my Laura. Um, so I made her a card um, for her birthday. Um, doing some paper piecing. I used um, Craft Kit 50, is it, I think? I really enjoyed it. I've got to tell you, it's something I haven't done before, but I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. So, um, yeah, you can see my Instagram for that little card I made. Not the best thing in the world, but she appreciated it. Um, so, yeah, you can do paper piecing with these. If you also like to be able to create your own backgrounds as well, these are absolutely fantastic. Uh, you know, for just making your own watercolour backgrounds, uh, cutting these out in black as you're seeing it there and then plonking them on top. They're going to look absolutely beautiful. Uh, but also, again, these are going to look great alongside your nesting frames, you know, creating your own little bouquets amongst those frames. I think these are a real perfect partner uh, to go with those frames today. That's your first three sets that you're going to get in this bundle. And then the next three that I'm about to show you, it's like you're getting them for free, which is brilliant. So you're going to get the simple sprigs, which will help you to create all of the kind of uh, foliage for your bouquet. Then, of course, if you've got gorgeous flowers, you need some gorgeous creatures. So you've got three stunning butterflies right there. And then you've also got these beautiful dragonflies as well. I reckon that's a brilliant price. Buy three, get three. These were £42, $53. At platinum price today, £16 or $20.80. Take these off our hands, please, because that is a steal of a deal today. And then if you're also looking for some beautiful papers uh, for your dies and um, also those, then the Country Lane collection that we've got here is phenomenal. So it's your paper and vellum collection, 96 sheets in total. It's gorgeous as this. If you love florals, this is gonna be right up your street. Um, and what I love about this again is you've got your corresponding reverse papers, which will match beautifully. But as we go through here, you've got loads of different flowers and lots of different color palettes. I almost feel that this um, paper pad sort of takes you through the year as far as your florals are concerned, because you've got, you know, sort 
sort of more autumnal uh, colors that I've just shown you there. You've got some brighter sort of springtime colors and summertime colors in here too. And he's gonna say it again, because he always says it, I love the reverse. I love that um, wooden effect on the background of some of these. I just think that uh, layered up together is gonna look absolutely beautiful. My favorite paper is that one, how stunning. This is my favorite part of the year so Is far. that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, I think, it, it, yeah, it's gotta be up there for me actually. I, I just love that. The, I love the colour and I, I love the, yeah. the, the wood the effect wood with paneling. the florals. It's nice, isn't it? It's, it yeah, works. it's my absolute favourite. I love it. Is it because, what, what, just because of the flowers, the colours? Yeah, or? I think just the print in it, how pretty it is, the colours. I just love the colours. It's just, it's one of those paper pads that's very dreamy. You just yeah. look through it and see extras in it. And, and just the artwork that our Faye has done is incredible. Good old paper pad. Yes. That's the 12 by 12. You get that mirrored again then in the six by six. So uh, everything I've just shown you, but in, um, in miniature, if you like. And then you've also got uh, 24 sheets of your acetate included. Again, really great bundle of consumables there. 22 pounds, 39, $31.19 uh, worthwhile stocking up on that. A uh, few comments and some questions coming in. This is what we are here for, exactly what we're here for. Um, so, Stephanie says, I just noticed uh, the A3 is multi-purpose. Yes! Now I know why everyone's excited about it. Absolutely, it's the hottest ticket on the website today. It's flying out the door. Uh, Pat says, I've ordered four of those. Sandra says, I tried to be considerate and I only ordered three. <laughs> I'm not being considerate at all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she says, maybe this is, if there's still some left after the weekend, I may get some more. How many has Christine Mahoney ordered? She is going, after all, as the paper pad queen. Let us know. The thing, let me just tell you as well, it's lovely that you are considerate, um, but we've got fairly deep stocks of this currently, so if you do feel you want to buy more, you can do. We're not limiting it to like you know two or three per customer. Um, Charlotte says, hello again. I love watching Debbie Craft. I always learn something new. Oh, um, thank you. And Pat says that Country Lane paper is so beautiful. Right. A uh, couple of questions yes. and no stupid questions here. Uh, um, let's read the first one. Corda says, could you please um, give me the acetate measurement again? Yeah, absolutely. So acetate was five and three quarters uh, by six and a half inches. Okay. Uh, and we're going to score that at six inches just in case anyone's going ahead. OK, so just and all that does is that's making the uh, overlay that goes on the back of the card when we come to it. So, uh, yeah, five and three quarters by six inches. Um, Sylv says, and I, I mean, we won't know the answer to this, um, but she says, any chance there'll be any black A3 card and 12 by 12 oh, multi-purpose in black? wouldn't that be a dream? I would love it if we could get some A3. I find the more we chat about this and the more we mention it and the more you guys put it in the comments, yeah. the more likely it is to happen. So, Leanne, I have a whisper. Is it Leanne in this weekend? Uh, she's in for, um, I think she's in for a cartload. She is in soon. a cartload. Oh, next Thursday. So she's in next Thursday. So put that in your diaries and tackle her on the show. Okay. So Leanne, just everyone put, we want yeah. a, a, a three black card stock. Don't say I said that. And don't say I but said it either. Yeah, you just, just do yeah. it. Just do it. And who knows? Because I would love that. That would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, Deborah says, dang, I feel like I cheated myself because I only ordered two. Go and order some more. It's fine. It's good. Um, <laughs> and one final question before we get on from Zoe Carver, who says, stupid question. It's not a stupid no, question. Never. never. any stupid questions. She says, what is the difference between red liner tape and double-sided tape? Oh, yeah, no, that's a brilliant that's question. question at uh, all. The, the biggest answer of that is uh, red liner tape is stronger. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and I've tested this myself when I've made cards because I've often, when I first started making cards, I wondered because it's cheaper as well, I think, to get just double sided tape. Uh, it's great tape if you want something to last. So I've had cards that I've made, put together with double sided tape, put them on the windowsill, had a radiator underneath. Oh, yeah. And all the bits start coming away because it's not strong enough. Um, our double, so the biggest thing that I can say about this is the, I always think red because it's strong. Um, it's the strongest t adhesive, I think, that you can have. It's amazing. Um, so you can't beat red liner tape. But if you just want to do quick uh, stick in, um, it will, uh, normal double sided tape will do the job, but it could quite easily come away um, at certain parts. But if you just want it to make a card for someone, it's just going to be on their shelf for a few days, it would be absolutely fine. For construction, you yeah. definitely want to be getting either our red, our, either our red liner tape or our tape pens because they are the things that are going to hold everything um, for a long, long time. Excellent. I think that's it. Oh, there was one other question, actually, and then we'll move on. A couple of people have asked who's in the, who are the people in the picture. Oh, yes. So, the that's people in up. my picture, that's, uh, that's my brother. 
And funny enough, we were talking about them yesterday, which is very strange, because we were asking people about crafty friends and how they'd met friends. And uh, so Chrissy was my best friend, um, and she got with my brother the night of my wedding. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, and they've been together ever since, and it's their anniversary uh, in a couple of weeks, and um, it's going to be their 19th, I believe. Wow. Anniversary, yeah, which is, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. So, uh, like me, Ben, I'm, I'm a little bit sneaky. I just thought, well, why not make their card? Um, so, I hope they're not watching because Chrissy sometimes does watch me. Hello, if you're watching. Uh, I hope you <laughs> love your card. card. <laughs> <laughs> she won't mind. She'll love it that I'm doing a card for her. I don't always, uh, and it's terrible, sometimes I don't get time to always make someone. And I say that, I always do a handmade card, but it's, sometimes it's one that I have to just get from my drawer that I haven't made specifically for that person. And I don't don't like that I like to be really yeah. personal uh, so yeah this is quite personal to them and I've chose lilac lilac in this because um, as I was her bridesmaid at their wedding um, and my little poppy was as well and um, well, she's not little anymore I mean so uh, but yeah at the time and uh, we had lilac dresses so I've added some lilac in here for the color of their wedding oh, so, amazing yeah uh, right so uh, we're going to be using the scalloped edge ones and we're only going to be using the small and the medium one not the large one so we're just going to take that one out and take our uh, middle section one out and we're going to do some die cutting. Now you're going to need two of your uh, medium size ones and we're going to do four of our small size ones. So let's pop them onto here and in fact I'm thinking, oh no it doesn't matter, we not don't have, we've got all the time in the work, well we've got an hour and, hour and 20, under, yeah, hour and flown 20. over that 40 minutes, yeah it's just Come flown quick. by, flown by but all doable and this is why I wanted to get everything cut and done at the start then because then putting it together is quite simple but it's nice to get all our die cuts ready. These are the sort of cards as well that you can batch make because you haven't got to do any sort of uh, fussy card designs or anything like that this is all about just using uh, your squares to uh, be creative so let's take these ones out so that's one a little bit postage stampy these aren't they they what sorry they're like little postage stamps little postage stamp so pop that one and then we're going to do the same again let's just take that out and you can keep those for something else these are handy little um, pieces oh yeah Pop that on and another one on and then run them through. I don't know the size of that bigger one. I think it's a bit bigger. Um, let me just see. Yes, it's much bigger than three inches. When it comes to these next two that we've got to do, I'm just going to quickly run them through my mini as well um, because it will just take up sort of less time. I guess even the big ones will go through the midi and the junior, they won't they? will go through the midi, absolutely, yeah. and the junior, yep. So let's have those ones that to the side and then I'm just going to cut some strips off here just to make that smaller section. So we should have, we've got oh, two of that size, so our medium size and then we've got two of the smaller ones and we just need two more. So all I'm going to do is bring in my midi. <laughs> Lillian says, no, Ben, they're like great big ginormous postage stamps. <laughs> I yeah, love you wouldn't want to be licking the back of one of those, would you? Well, no, not really. <laughs> well, no, you don't have to lick them anymore, do you? You what, sorry? You don't have to lick them anymore, do you? Don't you? Oh, no, they're sticky. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I posted a letter. That's terrible, isn't it? Expensive stamps now. Is it? I, I don't even know what a postage stamp costs. I want to say first class, is it's about 96p. No, really? I'm sure it is. Nearly a pound to send a letter or a card. I, I might have made that up. Hang on. Wow. Yeah, it I bet is. you haven't. Uh, uh, 95p, yeah. <gasps> wow. Do you know what? I think the last time I actually went and bought a stamp, I'm sure they were only something like 36 pence. Back in 1985! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. I remember... How on earth do people afford to send Christmas cards? Oh, I know, I know. What, what, you do, what you do, you see, is you, uh, you, take, you take them into work and you use the work franking machine. <laughs> That's what you do, isn't it? Just to, oh, yeah, I've just got some, uh, some mail to send. You slip yours in. 
with the <laughs> with the work mail. <laughs> have you happened to do that before, Ben? I've just heard that people it? have done that in the past. And oh, it's not something okay, okay, obviously yeah. I I would never do. <laughs> I would never do anything like that. But yeah, 96, 68p for a second class. How much does it cost to send stuff in the US? I bet, I bet that is, is it more expensive? I have no idea. Let us know in the comments. Genuinely interested on that. If you were sending like a normal like card to somebody. Because ours, is, again, is done by... Is it done by that? It's not done by the weight, is it? It's done by like, the size of the card, whether it fits through like certain... They sometimes bring up a little template of like a letterbox and see if your card goes through it to decide how much they're going to charge you for it. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's expensive business. Right, so let's go. It is expensive business, isn't it? Mm. I wonder how much a postman gets paid, actually. We'll have to look into that. Might need a new job. <laughs> 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 they're, getting, they're posting a letter that's cost a pound, and they're posting, what, maybe 100 letters a day. Yeah. It's a lot of money, isn't it? I don't think they get paid, like, you know. <laughs> no, I know that. Postman Pat, still, pa postman Pat was never driving around in a Porsche, was he, you know? What, so. the postman get paid quite a bit, do they, George? Oh. oh. Um... I think, yeah, it's not bad, isn't it? Don't, don't become a postwoman. <laughs> I'd love that. We've well, here. actually, I wouldn't like, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, but if uh, if I did have to go and get a job, I think I'd love that. Although I'd want to talk to everyone, so it'd take me all day to get round, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, now, we've got these uh, smaller pieces that we've cut out. These are going to fit, pick, pick, uh, fit perfectly and actually they now look like postage stamps don't they <laughs> yeah just a little bit bigger um and then we've got uh, these pieces here which are going to take now what we are going to do we've got these pieces i'm going to pop these to the top now these pieces are going to house one of your pieces of card so what we're going to do with this one we're going to run this through again so take one of your pieces of your dark green card just grab my guillotine now we've done these uh, two inch square so we're going to trim these down to an inch so just into our inch box there Oh, is it a lot? They're just <laughs> oh, so not an inch. Let me just redo that. It's because I'm listening to them and not telling you the uh, correct measurements. Um, this should be uh, three inches, and we're going to trim this to one and a half. So one and a half. How much is it? How much do they get? Wow. Wow. That's, wow. That it's not bad, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to place that in again and we're going to cut that at one and a half. So. The only bad thing about being a postman though is a job that you won't have for very long, isn't it? Why is that? Well, you get the sack on the first day. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I just made that one up. <laughs> get the sack on okay, the first day. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, it's funny. <laughs> Okay, so you see what we're doing and where mm. we're going. So I'm going to pop these all here because we're going to be a little bit more creative now. So we're going to bring in our um, inks. So I've got my opaque inks here. And what we're going to do, we're going to use these to go around the edges. Now, we could heat emboss, but I just think uh, for time-wise, we're just going to ink the edges and leave them at that. But because we're using our pigment ink pads, if you wanted to, you could easily go around with your clear embossing powder and just emboss them um, but that will take a little bit of time so and the only reason I'm doing this Ben is because it's just adding that finishing little touch uh, and drawing your eye in and adding that sort of bit more of a purple design yeah so we're just going around all those edges just to ink them up I love anything that draws your eye into the center without you really mm. realizing it yeah and you can see I'm going from quite a plain piece to having that beautiful edge. Looks really lovely. Yeah, such a great tip this. Um, Anne says I'd cut the little ones out of the middle of the big ones. Oh, nice. Um, and it's 60 cents for a letter in the US, says Heather Springer. 60 cents. That's not bad, actually, then. It's cheaper than us. What does that work out? I, I, what does that well, work I reckon out roughly it'd probably be about 50 pence. Is it? I mean, that's just a rough guess. Mm. That is a great... Uh, 60 cents. So one cent is... Yeah, it's about 50p. Yes, that's a great point, isn't it? Because America is such a massive country. Is that 60 cents to send it locally? Or if you wanted to send it from, like... I don't know, if you were down in... 
Florida and then you wanted to send it to like LA or something, is it, is it going to cost you a lot more money or would it just take its time to get there? Mm, who mm. knows? Who knows? Let us know. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, it's not like, at least here, I mean, we could sort of drive up it to somewhere because we're quite a small, uh, small country. You can't just drive um, from sort of Florida to Chicago again. Yeah, <laughs> just say, we just drop our card off. <laughs> Johnny's getting, I'm loving, we're just, Johnny's talking about the big, never see the big lorries anymore. With the, yeah, where do they let us go? I mean, I mean, they obviously, they obviously do, they obviously do it overnight, don't they? That's where you never see the big postage lorries. And then they take them to the different, like the different dispatch units, don't they? And then the minivans come along and then they take them, Postman Pat comes along. <laughs> and of course they deliver all hours now as well, don't they? All days. Royal oh yeah, Mail. day and night, yeah. 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 Do you know what I found out the other day? Sorry, I know we're completely going off topic here. No, it's fine because you can see what I'm doing and I'm just sticking. So I quite like hearing all your stories about the posties. Um, you know the post office mm -hmm. and Royal Mail? Yeah. They're two different things. That's I a literally, franchise. I literally found that out about six months ago. Oh, really? I that thought was they were a long time ago the post office was sold off. I thought that... I, I just... Yeah, yeah. Like many, many years ago the post office was um, mm. sold as a franchise and uh, yeah... Yeah, so completely missed that. It's all the same price, says uh, Susie, to send a first-class wow. letter, no matter where it goes, at least in the continental US. I want to get me money's worth then. You could have loads of pen pals, Johnny. You'd feel probably a bit cheated, why, though, wouldn't you, if you were just sending it, you know, a few blocks away? It's probably cheaper to go with Royal Mail than the post office. <laughs> yeah. You'd probably send a bigger parcel for less than 96p. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just saying earlier, I sent a parcel to my son before and it cost me about £96 to send it and then they sent it back. <laughs> it cost how much? 90, I think it was about nine, either 92 or 96 it was quite a while ago, to send it over to Mexico. What? Uh, what? The, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 yeah. what? That was the cost of shipping? Yeah. Ninety-six pounds. Yeah, to send a parcel. Yeah. How big was the parcel? Uh, just about about the size of my mat. So yeah, just like a flat parcel. Yeah, very expensive. And then they sent it back. And it, what, what? What? Your son sent it back? No. Oh, they, they sent refused. It back. Mexico refused it and sent it back. Wow. Mm-hmm. I know. It's unbelievable, isn't so it? Just a waste of ninety-six <laughs> quid. I know, yeah. Uh, and we tried to get our money back on it, and they said that wasn't their fault. Royal Mail said it wasn't their fault. So, um, yeah, they just refused it because we'd put wrapped up presents inside. Wow. And, that, and they'd opened them all and see that they were just general presents, but still sent them back. Okay. Yeah. Which wasn't very nice, was it? It wasn't very nice. There's... Um Comments coming in now, 60 cents across the country, says Crafty Becky. Across the same all over the country, doesn't matter where to where, says Scrap Paper Scissors. That's so good. $60 to anywhere, $60? 60 cents to anywhere in the US, says Heather. Same price, but it just takes longer, says Betty. Uh, Miriam says, depends on the size and weight. Teresa says, the letter will just take its time to get to the recipient. Uh, and Rhonda says, in the US, if you put embellishments on it, you have to purchase a separate stamp called a non-machine stamp. I think it's 75 cents now, maybe more. And Betty says, yes, square cards are extra as they have to be hand processed. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We learn something new Absolutely every day. Absolutely, dear, yes. Right, the next thing we want to do, uh, Ben, we want to start die cutting because we need quite a few of our flowers. Now, you can use any flowers that you want. So the flowers that I use are different to the ones on here. What, what you do need to use, though, is flowers that have, um, like the outline, so outline die flowers, because you want, what we're going to be creating is some faux embossing. So I'm going to use this pack. I do quite like the daisy, so I'm tempted to use the daisy, uh, but I've then got to cut the stems off the daisy. But yeah. then do I need to cut the stems off? Mm. I'm wondering, I quite like it. Shall we use? No, let's just go with using one of the ones that we can just cut multiples out. So I'm just going to take that one, pop them to the side. So you can choose whatever flower that you want. I'm going to um, use this one. We're going to bring back in that green cardstock. So you'll have some offcuts. 
um, of your green that we used from those all these pieces. So I'm just going to start using these to cut them out. So I'm running them through here. So I'm just going to literally be cutting quite a few of these out, Ben. Um, so I don't know if you want to be doing anything else while we're doing this. Um, um, and then we can come back once we've got all our die cuts done. Well, I can certainly read. Or really you can just watch me do well, my die cuts. Well, whatever we fancy, I'll do, I'll do as I'm told. Um, <laughs> but you know, I read a few more comments out. Kelly says a lot of the cards we have embellishments, and they then require non-machinable stamps, which cost 99 cents in the US. So you get all of your stamps from a machine then? Is that what I'm is that what I'm reading from this? Stamps from a machine? Yeah, like a machine. Or is it a stamping machine that you oh. go to a place? Because actually, that rings a bell now. I remember going with Taylor, um, who works here with uh, Sarah. She goes to HSN, and we were once in Florida, and we had to go and send some parcels back, and she went and done it all through a machine. So that could be something to do with that. Nanny to the girl says, I sent my sister in Doncaster a birthday and Christmas card last year from Wisconsin. That cost me nearly $12. I mean, that is a long way, isn't it? Wisconsin to Doncaster. Still cheaper than uh, Debbie's Mexican package. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Chrissy Mahoney says, uh, that's just a regular letter. Packages will cost depending on where they go and how much they weigh. Which is, again, similar to us. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Absolutely. All of it. Um, just whilst we're watching Debbie uh, cutting as well, don't forget um, lots on the website today. We've got our 1P deals. 1P deals. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, craft kits on there. Uh, a 1P? Yeah, buy no. one. Yeah, buy one, get one for a, pe one for a penny. Yeah. We've wow. got the sassy and classy stamps. I'm just looking off the email that I got sent. We've got flower forming foam uh, on there as well. Oh, there's loads. And then you've got today's riddle. I usually hold books, but you crafty folk will know I'm great for organising your paper and card collection as it grows. What am I? <laughs> if you can work that out, you will find a heavily discounted item on our website today. And it's a good one today. It is a good one. Uh, and if you don't know the answer, it's floating around in the socials, so you can, you can cheat. Um, and also on the socials today, if you've been enjoying the whole uh, Riddle Master thing, you'll be able to see, they've done like a bloopers reel, um, so you'll be able to watch the that. bloopers? You normally do it in one take, Ben. Well, what happened was, I sound like Jethro There then. we go, excuses. No. What happened was, you're in one of the bloopers reels, Johnny, because Johnny was laughing, yeah, you were laughing too much. Uh, the hat, um, I got quite a big bonce, and the hat was a little bit too small. <laughs> A little bit, no, it's, I think it's on our Facebook page now, on the Crafter TV Facebook page. It wouldn't quite sit on my head, so there's a couple of times where I sort of like moved away like that and the hat fell off, so that's why it wasn't <laughs> one take wonder um, this time, but you can see that. Um, and if you want some more laughs as well, go to my page, uh, Facebook, at Ben Mosby CC. I've done, the wrap up that I do is a year old, so I did a special with, um, I think it was 13 of my favourite clips, and there's some absolute corkers on there. One of my favourite moments with Debbie, which will just, when it got a bit windy in here, is all I'll say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was very funny. <laughs> it was really funny. It Isn't it funny no. how something just plays on <laughs> yeah. with something and it, you just think you just couldn't write it, could you? It was so funny. Do you know what though, making that and watching those clips back just reminded me of how much fun we have here and why you guys uh, <laughs> love watching, because you never quite know. <laughs> what's around the corner very true very true right we've got three four five six seven eight so i'm still going still cutting some more you can always cut more and you might have too many because what we are going to do we're going to use them over the edge of our card as well so we're going to trim some bits off uh, so you can also use those trimmed off bits as well so just taking out all those middle sections handy to have the little mini or the midi for these as well so isn't it for quickness. handy yeah, sake. really handy because it just makes your crafting so quickly. If I was to put all these small things, small dies, uh, through my normal machine, it would take me absolutely ages. Yeah. Um, by the way, if you don't know the answer to today's riddle, uh, Linda's put up the answer for you. Also, uh, Shadaya has put up the answer for you as well. So um, I'm not allowed to tell you, you know, I'm contractually obliged to remain tight-lipped on what it is 
Uh, but everyone, yeah, everyone shared it. Look for Shadai's comment, look for Linda's comment, and you'll see uh, the answer. I mean, must to say as well, yesterday, I don't know if um, we mentioned yesterday on air, but um, uh, Susie, superstar Susie on the socials, yesterday was her one year anniversary with us at um, Crafter TV. Is that the same as you? When was yours, you said? No, so yesterday was, no, no, no. So yesterday was her anniversary. Today is my wrap up anniversary. My actual work anniversary, some anniversaries, is the 2nd of September, which is the same day as my wedding anniversary. So what's a wrap-up anniversary? My wrap-up that I do on my Facebook page, you know when I do all the clips every week? Oh, and you've been doing that a year? One year. Oh my 40 goodness. episodes. Wow. Yeah. I didn't realise that. I'm going to keep going until it's the longest uh, TV <laughs> show thing. I've got, TV, I've got to try and beat The Simpsons because I think How that's the longest running one. How long does it one. take you to edit and do all that? Uh, it must take quite a few hours. No, it doesn't. I'm, I'm quite quick now. It's, it's deciding what to put on it. So then I, I record those on my phone, screen record them, send them to, up to my iPad, record the little bits that I speak to the camera, one take wonder. And then I reckon from start to finish, I can probably do it in about 25 minutes. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, not too bad. How do I remember all the bits? Well, that is a good question. If a funny bit happens, and I think it's quite funny, I will uh, make a note on my iPad so I know when to go back and uh, watch it, you see. Oh, there you oh, go. Yeah. Fair enough. Have you finished your cutting? Uh, yes, yeah, so I've done uh, quite a few. So I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, so um, I can count them twos. I don't know why I count them like that. I went one, two, <laughs> I four, it. five, six, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Uh, right, uh, and we're just going to place these sporadically onto our six by six piece of card. Uh, so this is like a faux uh, uh, embossing technique that just looks really cool. So I'm going to bring in, let me just grab a scrap piece of card because I'm going to use my dotty tape pen. Uh, you can use whatever you've uh, got. So we're going to pop that on there. Let's pop that there. Um, Crystal H says, Ben, please can you ask Debbie, what was the item she was using to set her glue in, please? To set my what, sorry? To set her glue in. To set my glue. Oh, put oh, my glue Gloria. In. Oh, Gloria. Oh. Yeah, I don't have a Gloria anymore. Is that um, an egg? I lost Gloria. I know. Is that an egg uh, cup? This is an egg cup. Oh. <laughs> uh, which is a brilliant idea. So, uh, Johnny's got his egg cup. Uh, someone pinched it, Johnny. Maybe it was yours. Uh, <laughs> it's Johnny's egg cup. Yeah, it's not as good, but no. the top of your water bottle will do exactly. And it doesn't matter what water bottle it is. I'm just going to bring my one in here. If you cut this first piece out, put your cross knife in there to make sure you empty the water Trim first as well scissors. yeah make sure you empty it take the lid off yeah. and then your glue will sit right in there so oh. that's how you make a glory it's just the top of that and the great thing with this one is then when you take your pin out you can put it in there and it stays inside that when you've got it on your desk oh. where this one it goes through so it sort of can lose it so uh, yeah so it's really good so i need to make another glory and i just haven't made one yet um probably because there is just an egg cup here to use but um yeah that's all it's uh, sat in a little egg cup excellent so i'm going to put quite a few of these on here and we're just going to put our adhesive let me bring that over so you can see what i'm doing yep. um, just putting that adhesive on the back now you want to make sure that you're covering all of the um, the die cut because you're going to be trimming it off and using the excess as well so make sure we go around all those extra pieces now if you are using um, your tacky glue so if you're putting this tacky glue on a good way of doing this is to put a bit onto your glass mat and then you can then use your die cuts to dab in the glue. Uh, some people put it on their hands. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I just, I wouldn't want to do that. And mm. it, it's not very nice to take off. Um, so if you are using your tacky glue, just do it that way where you put a bit on your mat um, and then let it dry because then because it's your glass mat, it will just peel off mm. when it's dry. Um, the other way is you could die cut using your adhesive sheets. Oh, yes. And then it will make them all stickers. You could also use your Xyron. So you can, in fact, have we still got any Xyrons on the website? We did have one in stock. The little square one because a couple of weeks ago. Because these would work really well through yeah. them. So just keep going. So I'm doing these all now because uh, then we can just be creative when we start to stick them into place. 
let's do some more. Whilst you're sticking those, uh, Miriam says the wrap up was hilarious. A good laugh when you're not feeling your best. Um, I laughed putting it together. There was some, Debbie was hilarious. Um, Debbie Robinson featured in it a few times as well. Um, the, the day her pants fell down was on there. Um, I didn't know that happened. The day Craig, <laughs> Debbie what Robinson. Happened? You have to watch it. I'm not giving it away. The day uh, Craig broke the set and he broke the cupboard, <laughs> he was oh, this yeah, size and he one. got his mic cable caught in the cupboard. That's in there. Um, I can't try to think of the other ones. There's some really cr funny ones in there. Um, so what was it, a top 10? Well, it was a top 10, but then I, I added another, so I got everyone to vote um, in the week on their favourites and then I added in, there was three other clips which I wanted to um, oh, The bra in. one's got to be on there. bra one is in there. The, the uh, tortilla, the tortilla wrap slap challenge is in there. Um, I'm trying to think what else is in there. I didn't really understand that. What? That was, yeah, yeah. It was Craig's idea. What's to understand? He'd seen it on TikTok. Oh, OK. And right. of course, he knows that if he says anything to me, I'll just come in and do it. So he said, do you want to come in and do a rap challenge? And I thought initially he meant like a... Yo, yo, making yo, them. what do you know? Oh, kind I thought of challenge. you were making raps. <laughs> yeah, um, but then we ended up hitting each other in the face with raps. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, he's crazy. He'll be back before you know it, won't he? Oh, crazy. Absolutely. Um, and Susan says, hello, Ben and Debbie from a hot and sunny morning in Arizona. I love Debbie's demos and I have these nesting dyes to try. Sorry, I'm late. Um, I brought my mini from the UK, says Susan Griffiths. Well, lovely to have you with us. And the great thing about the um, Craft Along course is that you can come back and do it whenever it suits you. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to worry about doing it now. Did what make it in? Boy bands in there, in the wrap up. <laughs> Remember that day when uh, Johnny, Jake, and John became the Offbeat Brothers. The Offbeat Bar Brothers. Is that what they were called? Yeah. They were trying to click. They were trying to click together. And yeah, they, just, they were terrible. They were awful. <laughs> That's why they've never been on again. <laughs> Right, this bit is a bit big to go anywhere where I want it on here. So I'm going to actually bring that onto these smaller pieces now. So anything that you've got that you can just pop those onto, just bring that across. And then we're going to have that one on there. And then just trim these pieces. So any of these little pieces, you can absolutely just pop onto your smaller pieces. So I'm just going to pop that one onto there. So it looks like we've cut up our dyes, but you can see we're getting that beautiful faux bleached effect. Uh, faux bleached, not faux bleached, faux embossed. Oh, yes. I'll pop this one around here. And it's just a case of building up that design. Huh? And let's do some more. So let's do a little bit coming off of here. There's still lots of postage chat in the comments. Uh, Shannon says, I watched a video where if they can't read your handwriting on an envelope, it has to go all through all these codes to get sent out. It was crazy. Good thing I have nice handwriting. And Sil Sparkly says, most post is sorted through a machine. They scan the postcode and print a code on the envelope and sometimes flip them out into different bins to sort for destination post depots. Wow. So all, all robots. Oh my goodness, the other day. <laughs> have you seen them? Have you seen the little robots? What, delivering they, stuff? We've got them in Bedford. They have them in Milton Keynes for ages. Yeah, Nobody so believe they, me. They've now come to Bedford. And we're, I've little, seen two now. They're going yeah. to so the road, driving up the road. And I was like, what on earth's that? They're like little square little, white yes, boxes. Or, with little um, antennae. Yeah, they they're drive just around. riding along the road. Yeah, nobody like, believes me. Two. I've to see two. They're amazing. It's, I love to. It's Amazon, I think, isn't it? Um, someone said it was the co-op. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure that someone said that they're the co-op ones. Yeah, so, um, so little robots that drive around and they go to, they go to the address, don't they? Yeah. And deliver your parcel. I know. I just want to, um, yeah, I just want to order something and have a robot come to my door. How amazing is that? When I, when I lived back down south and I used to drive up here, I always used to drive through Milton Keynes to get to the motorway and every single time you'd see the little uh, robots up and down the, um, the pavements, um, yeah, delivering stuff. I've Someone told me as well, before. I don't know if this is a thing which has happened or it's going to happen, but delivery by drone as well. A drone's going to happen. Ah, oh, look, George will be all right then if he ever gets made redundant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Debbie. <laughs> you get rid of George. George is a trained dr droner, aren't you? Drone. Yeah. 
Yeah. He does drone on. <laughs> yes, Debbie! I set you up for that. I was waiting to do it myself, but I thought he does drone on. Bless him. <laughs> oh, dear. Are you filming drone footage of the warehouse, are you, on Monday? So you guys will be able to see the, uh, the warehouse from up in the sky. It'll be George's ah. footage. Um, right, we're just going to pop that one on to here. Someone's asked, why is Gloria called Gloria? I just named her Gloria the glue booth. <laughs> All right. And for no other reason, it just seemed to have, to have stuck. Right, so we've got our last little bit. I didn't actually, because I used a completely different die, um, I didn't know how many I used, but actually that 11 fitted perfectly. So all we're going to do now, so we've got our little um, embossed uh, pieces of card. I'm going to pop that to the side. Now, before I do anything, I'm going to turn these over yeah. and we're going to use our uh, scoring tool and we're just going to go over the back of these because what this will do now is just make sure that all those adhesive dots will stay into place. So you can see, look at that, we've got that faux bleaching, which looks, I keep calling it faux Not bleaching, bleaching. Uh, faux embossing. embossing yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, it's just a nice, cool way of doing something, especially to tie your flowers in uh, with you, because we don't really have embossing folders that match our dies. No. Uh, this now can tie in with your die set, uh, as well as your uh, uh, having like that faux embossed detail. So we're just turning all of these over, just going on the backs, and all this is going to do is just make sure um, they're adhered properly, all those little dots. Last one there. Right, so we've got our four detailed ones here. Now they're going to be stuck onto these four pieces. So let's do that. And then what we're going to do is start to do our card afterwards. So what I think we'll do is stick these and then maybe have a break, Ben, and mm. let everybody catch up on those, um, on their sort of sticking their flowers just in case it's taking them a little bit longer. Yeah. I think I was quite quick sort of doing mine. Um, and that's the trouble with um, a craft along because when, I, when you first do it at home, you've already done it. So it comes together a lot quicker the second time. Um, where before I was sort of more strategically placing where I wanted all my sort of die cuts to go and using a different die cut, but it still worked out quite well. Sorry, the guys in the gallery now. They are, can, they are amazing, George. They're geeking out on the robot when I, thing. I, I, We was in the car and I went to me, look at that, it's a robot. And I was like, no. And then we see another one and we was like, oh my goodness, robots have come to Bedford. <laughs> robots have come to Bedford. <laughs> I mean, we're near Milton Keynes, aren't we? So, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of thinking as well, again, can you let us know in the US if you have something similar? I kind of think if we have this in Bedford, so in Milton Keynes, you guys must So what Johnny just said was why, which is what made me think I was surprised they were doing them because um, unfortunately and I'm not tarring all teenagers but you do get a lot of teenagers they get bored or they have a bit to drink and, and not just I teenagers. Think, do they nick them do they um, do they kick them do they open them up and pinch them do they ride them I think they are um, I think they're equipped with lasers so that they can like they can, they can get the teenagers oh, with so now lasers. not only have we got superheroes, we've got uh, sorry robots. We've got superhero robots. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, right, so just a quick recap. So we now should have four of our scalloped edge, uh, four of our mats and layers with our faux embossing. We've got our piece here, which is going to go onto our white piece of card right onto here, and then we've got. Our bigger one which has got oh sorry this one first of all uh, which we've got our uh, which we're going to put our photograph onto so I've got another photograph all I'm going to do is stick this onto here but before I stick that on we're going we're going to cut out some more of our flowers uh, and we're just going to decorate around the edges but we'll have a little break just let you get ca caught up on all your faux embossing brilliant stuff there's do you know what the comments that are coming through <laughs> 
<laughs> hilarious. Susie's just messaging me going, uh, so, so many comments coming through. They're, they're all over the place today because you guys are chatting about postage, about Gloria, about the wrap up, uh, about the craft along, about this. Is so many comments coming through. Uh, Al, your Al says, Ben, uh, did you say excellent? I did say excellent a few moments ago. I knew that you would pick up on that one. Nobody else did. Marvellous. Uh, Shadai says, I use double sided adhesive sheets for outline dies, always handy. Uh, and just a lot of you chatting about that, the wrap up. Uh, Lillian says, I remember the pants falling down. Um, Sharon says, I like the boy band one. Uh, and Al Alistair says, Robots come to Bedford. Debs, you've been living with me for two years now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he a robot? Never told me. <laughs> Well, that um, comes, you don't go get the shopping now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Debbie is on fire today. She is on fire. There you go. And on that note, that is brilliant. Take that one. Uh, on that note, we're going to take a short little break. Oh, I think we need one. In the meantime, if you've got any questions at all uh, about the Craft Along, feel free to get them in and we'll come back <laughs> with the second part uh, of the Craft Along in just a few moments' time. <laughs> Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Everyone backstage is amazing. You probably know this because we talk about them all the time but I have to give a big shout out to Jake. From the minute he walks in the door, he has got the hugest smile, but he's just brilliant. He's always there, he's always on the ball, asking what, I, and, and they all are, but Jake is just, he's a cheeky little chappy, I think is why I like him. Constantly asking if we've got everything we need, fetching it for us if we need them. Um, everyone laughs at me, because my main thing when Jake's in is, Jake! He gets me whatever I want, so if I need anything from the library, he goes, gets me it, we, we, you know, we rummage through the boxes together, we make sure that I've got everything I need. Um, and he always does it with a smile. Our craft experts come from all over the UK to HQ up in the northeast, and here they are telling you a little bit about where they're from and what it's famous for. So I'm from a beautiful town called Carnoustie. So many people may recognise the town as a golfing town, famous golfing town. We get lots of big golfing events. I can't say that I'm a golfer myself, uh, but we do get a lot of uh, the celebs, golfers, musicians, actors, all of these turning up at the town. For those that aren't into golfing, what I would tend to say is it's sandwiched in between Arbroath and Dundee. So we are quite far up. Um, I love I love my town, I love where I am now, however I will say one of the main things that I miss about my hometown, apart from my family and friends of course, have to say that, otherwise they're going to watch this and be like, where's our mention? It is of course the beach, you know, we're right on the, the River Tay, we've got the gorgeous beach, the sand and the sea, it's absolutely beautiful, it's the one thing that I always make a beeline for as soon as I arrive back home for a little visit. I was brought up in Colnbrick, which is a little village um, near Slough, so it's not very exciting. Um, but we do have the third oldest pub um, in the whole of the UK there and it's where the Cox's Pippin Apple was first invented or first discovered. Um, but I moved to Chiswick in West London about 25 years ago and I've lived there ever since and I love it. It's full of, I wouldn't necessarily say celebrities, but TV stars. Um, so it's quite good for celebrity spotting when you're having a cocktail on the high road. 
Oh, uh, yeah, we're just looking at the uh, the map there to see where everybody was from. And Johnny was just saying, is, is, is Bedford right on the map there? Is that you got the, you got the right place? <laughs> Roughly, um, sort of right. Um, lots of lovely comments coming through. You guys are loving the show. By the way, th this is the hottest ticket in town. That is absolutely flying out of the door currently. Uh, our A3 multi-purpose cardstock. Um, Heather just says, I've seen that some parcels are getting, uh, some, some are getting items delivered by drone from Amazon in the US. Uh, uh, not where I live though, so it's, it's in the US. Um, Debbie, I love it that you're using cutoffs of the flowers, says Crafty Angie. And Terry Anderson, hello Terry, says one more reason for y'all, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> one more reason for y'all to come to Cleveland, Ohio, there is a restaurant, no way, that has robot waiters. I can't believe that. Robot I, I, waiters? I want to go to Cleveland now, wow. in Ohio. Tell you what's the name of that restaurant because I might need to Google it. Um, we're all set for the second part of the craft along, I think. There's no more questions come through. Fabulous. Uh, um, but keep the comments in the chatter and we will uh, read, all your, um, read all your comments out. And if at any point you do need to ask a question, feel free to. Um, what we do next? Uh, right, we're going to now cut some white flowers out. So we're gonna, we want to use some for decoration. We also want to use some around our photographs as well. Um, so um, we're just going to place this on here. I'm actually wondering whether, and I'm just going to look at all our other dies because I'm actually wondering whether to cut out um, some different ones so uh, let's, let's try another one let's try this one choice is yours you can just pick whichever ones you want uh, and actually I think I might just cut a bit of both out okay so um, let's cut two of them because I'm just using my mini we can just pop those through at the same time so oh running those through we need to get a new glass mat because oh, is that one slipping? the feet have gone uh, I thought we it keeps I sliding that. about that's why yeah there's there's no feet so we need to um so i did swap that around the other day because someone else was having a problem with that ah okay yeah so he's we and, and george obviously notices because he keeps saying can you um oh, move the uh, mat. can you move the mat to the left can you move it to the right it's like it's because it keeps moving every time you move it to the left to the left <laughs> <laughs> right beyonce <laughs> Right, yeah, this is quite good. Getting two done in one go. Can I fit two on there? I'm being quite frugal with this um, because we're going to cut them down. So I think it doesn't matter if we chop a little bit of the ends off. So again, pop that through. Lillian says, did Johnny travel to all of your towns? Jo oh, George, did George travel to all of your towns to do the drone shots? I think that was potentially, oh, I don't know where they got that from. Potentially stock footage, I would imagine. Yeah, but George, we can send George. You could just sit on your drone, couldn't you, and fly yourself over, you know? <laughs> George was telling me all about the drone yesterday because I didn't understand it. Oh, yeah? Uh, I didn't understand how people can um, see things and, you know, where people look in people's... People's bedrooms. What are you talking about now? Think, <laughs> there's a there's a reason that I said that. Sorry, in my head, right. um, because I've been watching a soap uh, and, and lately, and someone was doing that. They were ho hovering there, there and looking in people's houses. What, like peeping Tom? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So yeah, so I'm not at all saying that that's what George does. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Poor old George. George is not a peeping Tom, I'm absolutely sure of that. Yeah. Um, but, so I wasn't, I just didn't... I, <laughs> <laughs> this is a brilliant conversation. Yeah, so we carry on. Yeah. So I just didn't understand how they worked and that you can just leave them hovering. Like, that really intrigues me. And you get these drones, I don't know about the cheap ones, um, but you get these drones, don't you, that, that the, um, the, ba the batteries on them, when the battery begins to go, they'll automatically fly back to you, right? Is that right or is that wrong? Oh, they just land wherever they are, apparently, if the battery runs out. But I thought you could have one. Huh? George was so polite then, because you said, am I right or No, I thought you could get George ones like, with, like, no, a button. No, um... There is a button. A return to home button. Oh, right, so if the battery's, the battery's going. Mm. How long do drones fly for? Like, how long do you get on a charge? Oh, 20 minutes, is that all? Oh, that's not a lot. Well, you can't do much, then, can you? Batteries are 100 and odd quid, <gasps> same, as well. Wow. Wow, so every 20 minutes you've got to pay £100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we pay you that much, George. <laughs> I just, 
they intrigued me, yeah, and I didn't know they were run by an app either, and you do it all on your phone, and it was just very clever. Yeah, I was quite intrigued. Uh, See, our George, not just a pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, what did you do there? I didn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> Margaret says, Ben, watch uh, X-Files season 11, Mulder and Scully harassed by robots in a restaurant. Um, and that's true. Christine says, why would you want robot waiters? Because it's taking jobs away from real people. It is, actually. Do you know oh, what? That's, that's why true, yeah. I always try when I go to the supermarket, as long as it's not a massive queue, I'll always try and go to the lady at the checkout rather than the, um, you know, the, the self-service Oh, ones. that really makes me feel bad because I never go to a person. Do you not? I do try to. I mean, if you look, if you look sort of happy, you know. Oh, the, yeah, it's just convenient, is it? And quick. It is quick as long as it doesn't go wrong, though. Unexpected eyes, I'm in baggage area and all that malarkey, you know. Mm. Yeah. Right, anyway. so let's get back to this. And I'm going to use, let's <laughs> go back to the craft along, all this robot talk. <laughs> <laughs> robot and drones. Um, I want to put these around the edges. So I'm going to see where they go. So I think we're going to pop some. And I just want to tie them in and pop them round these edges just to uh, give us some just beautiful detail so and I also want to add a bit of color but I think I'm going to do that afterwards uh, once we've popped them in so I am going to do the same again let's stick these down so I'm going to bring this side in and I'm going to use not those ones I'm going to use a different one so let's use these ones I don't think we need too many um, and we will bring in again our dotty tape pen just to put those dots all over. Mm -hmm. And again, this is personal choice of what you want to do. If you don't want to put flowers around, you maybe have some um, different designs of things or you just want to ink the edges of your photographs or you just want to leave them plain, you can absolutely do that. So all we're going to do is take these, I'm going to put the smallest ones at the top here and then we're going to trim those. So just because I don't want to hide, hide the picture. So we just want those flowers. And then I'm going to do the same. Let's do the same in this corner. Pop that round and just trim those ones off. Just like so. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Sorry, I just, the robot at the restaurant in Cleveland is called Peanut. And he works in a, you know, we were talking about the restaurant in America that has a robot. So he works yeah. in the Japanese fusion restaurant in Cleveland. He's called Peanut and he's the host. So he's not like, so he greets you when you arrive. Then he shows diners to their seats. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, no, that is nice. Yeah. So there's still people that serve. From the way that, uh, Terry just sent me a message and I just Googled it. And the, from the way the article reads... There's still people there that serve. You, just have, you have Peanut greeting you and taking you to your seat. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That would be quite cool, wouldn't it? Go to a restaurant and being greeted by a robot called Peanut. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Welcome just, to the restaurant. I'm just looking at this picture thinking how young my brother looks. <laughs> how many years ago was that, did you say? 19. 19. Wow. When you were just... 20. I wish. <laughs> that was very kind though, Ben, thank you. <laughs> right, so now I've done that, I am going to just tie in the purple. So I'm going to bring in just an ink dauber and uh, we're going to bring in that purple that we use. I've popped that somewhere safe. There we go. And all I'm going to do is just take that and put a little bit of, of purple over the top. And I'm doing a really, really light touch. Yeah. And it is just to tie that in. I mean, it's not going to harm my photograph at all, but I don't want that on my photograph image. I just want to bring that in to tie up that purple around that image because we're going to be putting that onto our green. So just like so. Then we can bring this in, and then it looks like we've really framed that once oh, we bring yeah, it's it in. Clever. Makes such a difference, yeah. doesn't it, where you've got that deckled edge as well around the outside. So let's stick that one into place. I'm going to turn that over, and again, just using your scoring tool, just go around the edges to make sure that they're all adhered, all those dots are adhered properly. And then we can stick that one on. 
like so. So I think what we'll do now, because we're heading to that half an hour before, uh, we will start constructing our card okay. and then we'll finish off decorating with our flowers. So again, just going over the top of the photograph just making sure that's all gone onto there. So that gives us our topper. So we've got our four little squares here. We've got our four little purple ones, got some extra flowers that we've cut out that we're decorating a little while. Uh, we've got our background. So what we're gonna do with this one, this is gonna be stuck directly on. A little bit there that's just, oh, just come off there. So we're gonna stick this here. So pop them to the side, and then we're gonna use our adhesive to stick this down. So this will be your background. Now obviously if you wanted to put your flowers out of um, a different um, colour cardstock, you can. You don't have to do it as a sort of faux, faux um, embossing technique, but it looks, looks quite cool. Very clever. So just rubbing that one all down. Then we're going to bring in our acetate uh -huh. and we're going to bring in our scoreboard. And all we're going to do is on that longest side, so the long side, which is your six and a half inches, uh, you're going to place that to the side of your board. And then on the shorter side, uh, sorry, opposite way, so the side that is uh, five and three quarters, you're going to place on the sh on your side of your scoring board. Uh, and then we're going to come in at just half an inch. So start off gently going down because you, what you're doing is uh, you're stretching plastic. So just be really gentle as you go down and go down a few times and that will give you a nice crisp score. And then what we're going to do, we're going to um, bring in our red liner tape. So I've got my six millimetre, which works perfectly. Yep. And we're just going to pop that onto here. Now, as just so you know, when we are bringing this in, this is slightly smaller, very slightly. So it means that when you go to open it, you'll have your flowers, uh, on, you'll have your little cards just on the edges. So we're popping that like that, make sure then it folds over and you know then where to stick it. So you don't want to be sticking it on the wrong side. You want to stick it on the side that's folding over. So we're going to turn that over. I'm going to pop that on there because I can see it better. And then I'm just going to bring down my red liner tape just onto there. Right the way over. Lots of love for what you're doing so. with the um, flowers around the picture. Miriam says, I love what Debbie's doing with the flowers around that picture, which I think is, um, is lovely. Just shows you, doesn't it, how versatile these dyes can be. Absolutely. It's just lovely doing something a little bit different, isn't it? Mm. And then we're going to, so I think we'll pop that on to, just pop that. Trying to find an easy way to, um, to put that. So all we want to do is make sure that when you're placing it, I'm going to bring this in so you can see it a bit better. You get that's better. You can sort of see under there. There we go. I'm just making sure that when we place that, it actually is where we can fold that over. So making sure that whole thing can fold over into place. And then we can just go along to fold that down. So once you've folded that down to stick, we can then just go in and give that a burnish down. And I love this because I feel like it's that sort of um, invisible card front uh, because you've got that acetate on there. You wouldn't even know you've got that sheet. It just looks like a piece of card. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got, actually got that opening section there. Okay. So once you've got that, we're now going to start to build up our sections. Now we're going to okay. start off with uh, these pieces. So your pattern piece with your deckled edge. Um, and these are the pieces that are going to sort of go on the top here going to go slightly over the side and take it to the top part and then this one is going to do the same at the bottom but you're going to take it right to the bottom of your acetate yeah. and just slightly over and you're going to do the same all the way around so just using them almost like as diamonds onto these sides okay so that's your first layering that's going to go down uh -huh. then your next one is going to be your um my what are you lost hang on let me check let me check because I feel like I've got one missing oh I'm such a, I'm such a klutz <laughs> it's these pieces but actually I should have four yeah 
I did have four, it's didn't I? It's not stuck I? Back on the back of the picture, is it? No. Oh. Huh. oh, I have four of these. I definitely did four. Let me just check that it hasn't gone anywhere. Hmm. Where has it gone? Can we have a look? It's not gone under. Is it not under gone under here? counter? Is it? Or is do it you it mat? Is it still under your glass mat? Oh, under the mat. Let's have a look. Oh. No. Ah. Have you found? Ah. Oh. Ben to the rescue. Thank you, Ben. That really threw me then, not having it. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a robot? <laughs> uh, right, now these pieces are the pieces that are going to go in the opposite way. So we're going to have them onto um, the middle. It's going to go onto this side and then they're going to go onto this side. So can you see we're creating a completely different front. So onto there all the way round. So just doing those so you can see how we're going to pop them together and then your photograph one will then come and sit in that middle. Okay. That would, take the photo off again a second. Sorry, that look, that's brilliant the way that that's lined yeah, up. I know. It looks like the uh, the green and white squares are like inter like yeah, interlinked and joined together. It's very, it's very clever, clever isn't it? Yeah, very clever. Sort of trick of the eye. Yeah, absolutely. So let's take these off and now we're just going to stick these down. Okay. Now what you can also do, and I haven't done, but it is a good thing to do if you wanted to, is you could cut some more of these and then layer them on the back on the inside so then when you open your card they're all, all the glues covered up but i'm just going to use because i do want to make a little um a little piece of card inside which holds your card together so all i'm going to do is take my um oh i'm going to run out of tape pen jake if you can hear me could you bring me a tape pen a normal one please so we're just going to use this and again what we're doing to make sure these fit these will just slightly come off the side of our card yeah. and then we're just going to place that down so just getting a straight side so just right there and then we're going to do the same each side so that tape all the way around and that one and just around there and do exactly the same so that's going to be at the just slightly over the edge yeah and then marrying up to this top one your tape pen's coming ah. i wonder if it'll be delivered by a robot come on robot where are you here he comes robo drake J robo robo, robo drake robo jake <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, i nearly said what debbie's um uh, thank you very much <laughs> <Jake>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't tell Debbie's secret name, but it's it's Robo's in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, George wants to know. Move on. Because <laughs> <laughs> of Robinson, so Robo is Robinson. Yeah, Robo. But I won't obviously. tell you what the other name is. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> Did you ever have a, a nickname? Me? Yeah. Uh, no, the only nick no, not really. I mean, I, I get called Mose or Moser. Right. The, the, at school, um, at primary school, like, they used to call me Nosebleed because that sounds exactly Nosebleed. like Mosby, doesn't it? <laughs> um, but no, I've never, no, I've never really had a nickname. Ben, Benny Boy, Moser, Mose, uh, Charles. <laughs> Shut up, George. <laughs> uh, the great Mose Beanie. <laughs> Have you just made that up yourself? <laughs> That's what I used to do in the magic shows. The great, the great Mose Beanie. Um, <laughs> Betty Buble, when I used to do singing. <laughs> Um, you wish. <laughs> Funnily enough, that's what, uh, that's what Laura says when I say that to her. <laughs> Betty Buble or you wish. <laughs> that's uh, well funny. Well, did, did you have any nicknames apart from Mick Yeah, Giggles? so only one, yeah. And I don't know why even till now. No, it's not bad, Johnny. <laughs> it's actually all right. Um, <laughs> I think Johnny always dreads it. <laughs> uh, Peapod. That's what you used to get called, yeah. Peapod? Why, did you, why, why, why were you called Peapod? I can't remember now. You must be able to remember. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why were you, why were you well, my maiden name was Pearson. Right. Because so why were you called Peapod? People, 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 <laughs> that's what I mean. I never really got oh. it, but it was just called Peapod for Pearson. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I've been the fish for quite a long time. McGiggles as well. You're fish. You, well, you're the only one that calls me that, and I quite I? like that nickname. Ah, yes, McGiggles. McGiggles. 
Yeah, just most people call me, a lot of people call me Fish. Fish, McGiggles, Peapod. As we found out earlier, Al's got a few nicknames for you as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't tell you Al's No, I can't talk about uh, that one. You could have, I could tell you the story and then you could imagine. No, we're not going to. That's not. Because <laughs> <laughs> that, no. Everyone in my ears no. like, no, no. 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 It's it's all right. Right. What a Friday afternoon. Leave it to your <laughs> imagination. We've all, we've all got our own little names, haven't we, for our, um, for our partners. <laughs> At home, you know, so we'll leave right. it Right, just there. before we put our photo on, you're probably thinking, but we had two other little die cuts here. So what we're going to do with these is these will go on top of each other. So again, this one with our crushed velvet, we're going to do the same as what we did earlier with our little pieces and just bring those in yep. and do <clears> our <throat> edges. So just coming uh. round. And then Gen that use up all our die cuts then. Jennifer just saying, my in-laws celebrate their 49th wedding anniversary oh, in November. This would make an awesome present for them. Um, yeah, absolutely. Love the layering concept, Debbie, says Susan Griffiths. And all of this with the mini. Exactly, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Super Apart from with these yeah. ones, I did have to use the bigger one. But if you don't use, I mean, you could cut them yourself if you wanted to. Uh, and Rosalind says, Debbie, I'm borrowing this idea. I'm working on some photo scrapbook pages. It will look brilliant. Oh, yes, this it would look idea. lovely on your scrapbooks. But, so that's, again, another reason Oh, do reason you know what, as well? These. You could make little hidden pockets with these oh, as well, yeah. and not glue them all down, and have little labels coming out of them on your scrapbooks. So, yeah, that would be amazing. Right, so just pop in that inside one down. So this one then is going to come on the inside here. So it's oh, all wow. about sort of layering up. We're now going to just use our foam pads. So let me just grab some of those. Uh -huh. And then we're just going to heighten that up. R Rosalind says, so we're still talking about so many conversations today. Domino's has a self-driving delivery service in some areas of the US. Oh. It's called Sounds Neuro. Good. When you order online. Oh, do you know what? Don't do that for me because I will hijack that robot. <laughs> I'm a bit of a pizza freak. I'm like, pizza! <laughs> it's not going to go past me and I'm not going to have that pizza. <laughs> Debbie always wants a piece of the action. <laughs> do you always want a pizza? <laughs> um, it's called Neuro. When you order online, you select Neuro Delivery and they send you a code and a message to meet the car curbside. That's a little car... Uh, Wow. I'm saying. I might have to Google that later on as well. My you guys goodness, are way what ahead is happening to this world? Over there. So if you like a bit of pizza, um, and you can you can get it delivered over there by a by a robot. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's pop our picture on top. So all I'm going to do is just rub that down at the back to make sure that's all stuck down. I'm loving hearing about all these different things that we've got today. That's amazing. Oh. Absolutely amazing. So that's our main card. Now, the great thing about this one is if you just have a little lip of a normal card, you don't have to have that on acetate. You can, that will make your full structure because when it's put together, yeah. it all, all holds in place. But it's a really beautiful design, isn't it? And looks lovely. Very clever. So we've got some of our flowers and all I'm going to do is decorate some of this um, with our flowers. I've also, so I've just got some of our... Um, uh, expression dies and I've just cut that happy anniversary out so I've done that the other thing I want to show you how to do because we've made so many different levels on this card um, there's a little trick that I like to do with uh, using your uh, your little word dies if you take a little piece of acetate um, so I've just got this one is I think I've done it an inch and a half yes an inch and a half but I'm gonna cut this in half as well I'm gonna make almost like little bunting yeah. but being able to stick the anniversary stickers on there. So obviously you can use whatever words you want. Uh, I'm going to use this and just trim that in half. So let me just grab my guillotine. So let's do, I'm just going to bend that in half so I know exactly where I'm doing that, which is at, oh, I've done it to, oh no, just done it under the one. So just popping that into place, making sure that's straight and bring that down. So that gives me my two pieces there. I am going to bring in, let me just fold this sticky sheet in half because then I'll be able to see my acetate. So let's bring that onto there. 
And then what we're going to do, I've just uh, cut out my happy anniversary uh, and I'm going to put the happy over the, the, sorry, the lilac happy over the white one. Mm -hmm. So that's going to just take that off of there and pop that on here just to create a little shadow like so perfect and then we're going to stick that one onto our acetate so i'm going to put it about sort of I'm, I'm just allowing a little piece here um, and we're just going to pop that on to there and i'm going to turn that over and just make sure that's adhered down so that's stuck nice and fast onto that piece and then we're going to do the same with this one so again taking our anniversary off of that piece and laying that over our white there's a lot of people chatting about how they're going to take your ideas here and um, put it onto a scrapbook oh, page that's amazing yeah a lot of scrapbookers love the idea um eleanor says pretty card i love what you can do with these nesting dies and miriam i'm definitely using this technique with some scrapbook pages so uh yeah appealing very much to our scrapbookers this debbie mm, absolutely and actually if you was to space them out a little bit or have smaller photos you can put photos in each one so you could have sort of photos around nice the edges idea, of it yeah. as well couldn't you it's yeah. a little bit like um like a montage yes so yeah. all we're going to do then is pop that on to the middle center here just like so and again I'm going to turn that over and just burnish that down and that will make sure all that um, sticker from our Xyron will go onto there and there's nowhere that will come off of there but what it also does it makes it very flexible yeah so if I use my pokey tool I can literally sort of curve it and I want it to sort of go in different directions um, because we want it to sort of go around the front but hover over. It's just a nice way of being able to, to put these a little bit differently. So I'm going to really sort of turn that so it gives it a little bit of um, uh, sort of manipulating. Although I've used construction acetate which is a little bit hard to do. But all I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to bend that over like so. And I'm going to trim that down actually. And let's just pop a little line just so I can see. Bring this one in. I'm just going to put a line of tape down that side and a line on the opposite side. And then that way we can, I can stick that here so it won't really be seen and we can always hide it with one of our flowers and then I'm just going to pop that up so it's slightly curved onto that side like so and we're going to do the same with our happy which will go up the top uh -huh. so again let's take that down and trim that one as well and then on the back using that tape runner i put like two strips down just to make sure that grabs and then we can pop that one in place up the top so just like so this is looking great and then we're just going to take our flowers. Now, the other thing you can do, we have, if you um, have got these sort of outline dyes, you might want to put some of these, uh, some coloured papers behind uh, and create sort of some brighter colours. Uh, I don't think we're going to get much time to do that. So we're just going to cut out um, a few different ones. And actually, I'm going to bring those other inks in. So I am going to just bring in a little bit of yellow. Uh -huh. um, and we're going to just ink some of our designs. So let's do these a little bit of yellow okay. in the center to make them really bright so Di just says i'm still here i'm just mesmerized with what debbie is doing my gosh she is good says should i oh thank you um, and miriam says exactly nice. debbie and you can make pockets like you said to put things inside and on top yeah uh, cut them amazing. a bit bigger to fit a 12 by 12 page um, so much fun says miriam you can also use them in mini albums uh, just so many possibilities um, and there's lots of pizza chat. Why, was, why is there pizza chat? Oh, because of the pizza yeah, we'll robot. Talk about pizzas. Yeah, Al's oh, got I pizza really tonight. Pizza. Oh no, he's not. Yes. 
Oh, yeah. he wouldn't do that to me. He says he's got pizza tonight, that's what he, he says. He wouldn't do that to me. He's just saying that because he wants Cause me he, to be jealous. Uh, <laughs> all this talk of pizza, I'm going to have pizza for dinner, says Anne. Alison says, we had pizza yesterday. My kids love pizza. I love pizza as well. Mm. Love pizza. I can't have pizza tonight. I'm travelling home tonight. Oh, you, can you not get some and have it can in I the car? Can I get a takeaway and eat it in the car Why on not? the way home? <laughs> Why not? Where did you get it from? P a pizza shop. Where's, I don't know where there's a pizza shop here. Isn't there, um, well, there's a, there's a pizza place in, uh, in town. But you, you, you go out that way, yeah, don't you? Yeah, and I like to get straight off as well. There must it, be one at the, uh, the services <gasps> oh, just before you get on yes. the motorway. Oh, yes, there is. Like they, they, and actually, I didn't know it till the other day. So I was naughty and went for a Kentucky Fried Chicken. The other At time. the services? Yes. Yeah. And when I come out, I read Pizza Hut on the side. Ah, oh, there you go. And I was like, where's there a Pizza Hut? And then so, Tracy was telling me, uh, was it Tracy? Um, yeah, um, there, there's one in the garage there. There's a Pizza oh, Hut. Yes. Greg's. There's a Greg's. Yeah, pizza. there is. There yeah. is. There you I go. Like, I didn't know that. Oh, and that's on my way out. Yep. Oh. Every oh. Friday's pizza night, says Heather. Yeah. Betty says, mmm, pizza. So you're, you're all having pizza. Debbie's going to have pizza. Al's having pizza. <laughs> I'm trying <laughs> to cut down. Debbie's having pizza if Al's having pizza. I'm trying to cut down on my pizza, actually. I went to the, uh, the pizza shop the other day and ordered the pizza. He says, do you want to cut it into eight slices or four? I said, oh, you better make it four. I don't think I can eat eight. <laughs> I missed that in bit. <laughs> What'd you say? It's killing you. <laughs> You're so like Al, laughing at your own gags. I said to the guy, he said, I'm trying to cut down on my pizza. So I ordered my pizza and the guy at the pizza shop said, do you want to cut into eight slices or four? I said, you better make it four. I don't think I can eat eight. <laughs> it's, a, it's a terrible joke. It it's is a funny. terrible joke. It is funny. And that's exactly a joke that Al would laugh at as well. <laughs> he really roars at his own jokes and I just look at him thinking, it's really not that funny. <laughs> Maybe me and Al should get together and have a, a pizza night and we can swap jokes together. <laughs> get the pizza delivered to your car park, says Lily and Debbie, so you can set off from there. Oh, no, why did I think that we can get it delivered here? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Look <laughs> at Debbie. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, yes. What are you oh, going for meat then? Meat feast. Meat feast. Oh, meat feast. Every time, meat feast. Got to yeah. be done. I do like, or a spicy beef, yeah, like a meat. Um, there was one thing I was going to do. I was going to stick a, a little bow on. So I've got a little bow just to finish that off. So my other one I use uh, much the sort of oranges and yellows and different ones. So I'll show you the two differences. Uh, but I love the fact that you can use whatever you want uh, on here, whatever you've got in your stash. If you want to make that entire, entire card, um, you can see, there we go. And then if I just bring this one in, you can see the difference in these using those darker colours. Um, oh, I've got one. Have we got time to do? I forgot to do something. Can yeah. I do something. So let me just pop that to the side because. Um, so what I found with this card, uh, when you put it, and, and actually it's not too bad. This one does sort of stand, but it te they tend to slip. Because oh yes. They're quite heavy. Uh -huh. So I just wanted to show you how you can make a little um, uh, piece inside. So just take a piece of card. Let me just make sure I've got my. I've got all my instructions here. So I just want to make sure I tell you the right amount. Um, so we are going to um, we're going to cut two pieces. Um, uh, sorry, we're going to cut a piece that's two inches by three inches. So let me just grab my guillotine, and then so three inches by two inches, and then we're going to take our scoreboard. So let's just grab our scoreboard, bring that up, uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a scoring at half inch, every half inch. So your half inch, then your one. Oh, is this like the little end? One and a half inch, yes. Mm. Two, two and a half inch. So stabilise it. And then I'm going to turn that round and we're going to do every other line. So yeah. we'll go in at two inches, uh, sorry, one inch and two inch. And that's going to create your mountain and valley fold really yeah. easy. So you get that together like so. And this is quite nice. And you'd have to then put everything on the back. But it's a really good uh, way of sort of stabilising it. So this bit here, what we want to do is put our tape pen. Or actually, let's put our red liner tape. That would be much better. So we're going to pop that into place. 
give that a trim and then on the opposite side pop that one on just make sure that's burnished in there so let's take that piece out and that piece now obviously only do this if you don't want to open your card so this is good if you're actually making a photo frame uh, because you wouldn't want it to be open you just have it on display but if you are make I can't get the backing off Oh, Ben. Oh. Ben, Ben, Ben. It, uh, I've struggled with the old red liner tape. <gasps> oh. I just stabbed myself. Oh. You're all right. <laughs> Look, I literally just stabbed myself. Oh. <laughs> it's all right, all right. Yeah, that was your first aid <laughs> Everyone trained, wants uh... to come to my aid. <laughs> let me just pop a tissue on so I don't put blood everywhere. Um, and let's bring our card back Do you want me to in. finish it off for you? No, it's absolutely fine. Oh. I'll be fine. Uh, all we're going to do is lay this into our card. So open your card up. All we're going to do is pop that into the centre, uh -huh. just like so. Just put that a little bit straight. Uh, and then you're going to drop that down. So push that down onto there. And then it doesn't open, uh, it stands yes. without it falling. Can you see, look, you've got that little stand. Um, you could do that with hook and loop. Yep. So if you wanted to then open it. Um, but yeah, so really pretty card and a little stand inside. Really, really love that. And the comments coming through are uh, echoing what a great craft along that was. Brilliant and stunning, Debbie. I'll be trying that one, says Shadaya. Uh, Roseanne Baker says, awesome, Debbie. That card is absolutely gorgeous, says Heather Springer. So lovely, Debbie, says Miriam. Thank you for the inspiration. Debbie, what a lovely creation, says Mary Pat 1000. Suzanne Griffith says, I, re I really love the anniversary card. Lots of tips. Thank you, Debbie. I especially like the same color background and outline for the flower cut. Uh, a massive thank you to Debbie. What a great craft along. And um, we're going to be back together at six o'clock for um, Masterclass, which is going to be amazing. Uh, Samantha just saying, love, love, love your card, Debbie. Uh, and Angelim says, ouch, those pokey tools are sharp. Uh, we have got our paramedic, uh, Jake, who has uh, strolled into the studio. And he'll be, uh, he'll be, <laughs> he always, He's dishing out, there he is in his paramedics uniform, dishing out the plaster to, uh, <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> to Debbie. Um, yes, but she's fine. Thank you for the concern coming through. Um, let's have a quick look at all the nesting frames that you're going to get in this collection. It is brilliant, isn't it? And um, allowing you to recreate the card that you've just seen. Great as well, like those of you have been chatting about for your scrapbooking pages, but you're going to get your five by five uh, scout edge square. That's the size of the largest eye. And of course, you get it in the matching uh, rectangle as well. Largest die there is five by seven. Also in this collection, you've got the gorgeous uh, ditzy floral rectangle and the square included in there too. It's actually 18 dies that you're going to get uh, in total across the range. Uh, and then you're also going to get the cross stitch rectangle and the cross stitch square as well. If you want to go for those individually, you can. Um, uh, but if you want to go on a two for it's two for 25 pounds or two for 29 dollars best way to go though of course uh, is on that uh, deal on screen right now 57 pounds 56 platinum or 67 dollars i would also add into your basket whatever you're buying today whatever it is get this in your basket as well it's what you've been asking for we have delivered and it is flying out of here like nobody's business it has our white multi-purpose card but we have now got it in a3 size for you you're going to get 30 sheets within each bundle 300 gsm 10 pounds 39 is the price on this if you're platinum or 11 dollars 96 we know that people have bought uh, multiple times um, so you know if you if basically buy more than you think you'll need because you'll always come back to this you'll always use it um, so get it now whilst we've got it in stock because I have a feeling that it's going to be one of those items uh, that will go out of stock sooner rather than later. Lots of lovely comments still coming through. Gorgeous card, Debbie says Mary Beth Doyle. Beautiful, says Barbara Satterley. Uh, lovely card, great craft along, says Jenny Briggs. Uh, and what a great final tip to hold up the card. Thank you, says Susan Griffiths. And beautiful, uh, and doing this probably Sunday, says uh, Terry Anderson. Do not go anywhere though, folks. No, no, no. Stay where you are. I reckon we're going to give you three or four minutes here whilst we just change the studio over. So time for you to put on a brew and um, stay with us because the lovely Sharon is with us from Dawn Baby Crafts um, and we have got some amazing goodies to show you. Um, if you're in the mood for a bit of Christmas, stick with us. Some great deals coming up uh, and that is on the way in around about three or four minutes time. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. 
So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all that time with each other! <laughs> You're not free to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Favourite core product at Crafters Companion that I use day in and day out on Crafters TV, of course, has got to be the Gemini Junior. I absolutely love my Gemini Junior. I'm going to say 95% of the die cutting that I do is going to fit on an A5 platform. Therefore, it's going to fit within my Gemini Junior. I always have it at the side of my crafty desk at home. Where possible, I always have it at the side of me on Crafters TV. Whether I am going to be doing the die cutting, whether I am going to be doing our embossing with folders and stencils, all of which are going to fit on the Junior. I love the size of it. I love that it gives me a little bit more space. But I love the fact it takes nothing away from the A4 Gemini. It's exactly the same. It holds the exact amount of pressure. You can do the same with the pause and the reverse function. I will forever be grateful to Leanne for bringing out the Gemini Junior. It is the one I love, I adore, I will use day in and day out. And you know what? I'm going to constantly use it day in and day out because I love it that much. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. Hello, welcome back to Crafters TV, here for another hour with the lovely uh, Sharon from Dawn Bibby Creations. How are you? Oh, good, thank you. Been, yeah, been... my chocolate cake. Oh, have you? Oh, have you? Yeah. Did you yeah. leave my piece in there? Yes, it's in there safe, don't worry, good. don't worry. Good, <laughs> um, So you've been busy getting ready for the show? I have, yes, been, yeah. Uh, the mice have arrived. The mice, we, yes. because yeah, we didn't have the mice samples this morning, but we've yeah. tracked them down. They were hiding in reception, Nicola and I found them. Were they? So, yeah, we've got them now. Thank goodness someone didn't call the exterminators, eh? Because that could have been, that could have been uh, a bit of a problem. Um, it's lovely to have you back, and if people saw yesterday, you've got different goodies yes, than we had Yes, so yesterday. totally different products to what we had on the show yesterday. So, yeah, yeah Christmas again, yep. but totally different look. Um, all Christmas, um, and the first collection that we're going to have a little um, sneaky peeky look at is, well, you, I mean, you can see here. So I mean, are you joking there. me? This is the cutest thing you would ever wish to see. It's got a little bit bashed up but in transit, 
Um, it's a mass nativity see. scene. So it's it, the die cuts are backed onto foam. Right. Um, to give it some weight there. But how cute is that? You could put fairy lights around that. I love it. Um, just really good. It's, and a nice project to do with the children as well. Yeah, and that is all achievable from everything that yeah. we've got in this collection, isn't mm -hmm. it? Let's show you it. Uh, we talked about this earlier on. I mean, the mice are super cute. Everybody loves like the traditional Christmas. Um, merge the two together, and you've got something so very different, haven't you? It is. It's it's super cute. It is super cute. And you like characters like this, Ben, that you can dress up and have yeah. fun with and make scenes with. So this is your mouse, um, Mary and Joseph. Yep. Um, and the crib there, and you've got a nice size star with this one. Do you want to just see them in uh, silver? Yeah, well? We have had the boards um, delivered as well. Oh, it's got the wrong way. There we go. Thank you, Ben. Welcome. So you can see the size of those as well. So we've just cut them in silver there. Now you're just catching the light. You can see if you're new to Dawn's dyes, these have embossed. Um, embossing in them so yes. when you die you cut go. them out you've got so much detail it's not just an outline shape you've got all that detail so if you do run out of your cut into color when you're using your other card stocks um, that detail shines through so there's uh, Mary and Joseph mouse <laughs> you then got the three king mice <laughs> bearing their gifts of Brie, Camembert and Wensleydale <laughs> Other cheeses are available. Other cheeses are <laughs> available. But they, they even come with the little gifts as well, don't they? Yes. Yeah, yeah, they're cute. So you can um, decoupage those up into there. Do mice have hands? I was about to say hands. They have. Paws. Paws. Paws? Feet. feet. Mice. Paws. Feet. Yeah, feet. They're going to carry them anyway. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> exactly. And then, as well as our uh, three kings, you've got the... the well, the manger scene, the stable scene, we have, with yes, a whole host so of characters. And you've got all these animals in here as well. So um, in the second demo, we're going to do something totally non-related to Christmas using the animals as well. So you're going to use those all year round. And again, we have the board there for you yes. with um, all the animals there. So you can just see the size of those. You particularly liked the mouse angel, didn't you? Yeah, look, the mouse angel. <laughs> <laughs> literally the cutest thing ever and then we didn't realize until later on there is a little piggy in there as well down the there bottom there is yes two uh, different sized sheep yeah. as well you've got a donkey donkey yeah cow and the shepherd and shepherd the shepherd mouse, mouse. yeah um, which is just brilliant. You so got some... lots in there. Now you will get your cut into colour pack as well. Sorry, do you want to show that first? It's fine, it's fine. I was jumping ahead. No, sorry. no, you've got loads of great samples to show us. <laughs> the cut into colour pack um, contains some scenes, but basically, for people who've not seen one of these before, th these work in conjunction with the dies, don't they? They do. They, so you just need your low tack tape. Yeah. Pop your die onto there, so cut out which image you want, because you don't want to run the whole sheet no. through your die cutting machine. Um, you don't want to mark it. So just cut out the element that you want. Use your low tack tape to attach your die and then run through your die cutting machine. Now, what you're showing here, Ben, you're getting three sheets of each of these designs. Yep. There are different colorways as well. So you've got slightly different shades in your donkeys, um, slightly different shades in your stable as well. And if that wasn't enough yes it's coming with your free download as well uh, of course so this pack is obviously what we call one of our consumables you know you will cut into it you will use it it's not going to last forever like your dies however with your free download code you can then print out as many of these as you want to after this has run out um, and you can there's no limit to how many you can print, basically. You can print as many as you like. And angel-free policy, so you can make and sell. Or mm. run workshops with it as well. Mouse angel-free policy. <laughs> shall we look at some of your cards? Yes, shall we? Moving on from Ben's jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I've just done a little snow globe card there oh, as well, cute. with the kings on, using some of your matting and layering dies, um, and using some of the stamps that we had on the show yesterday, too. This one's been done with acetate behind as well. So that's made a nice little scene there. Um, so something different. <laughs> we have got little stepper cards here. Oh, that's, that's just snipped into one of the scenes, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So using the background scenes, using your mouse cut into colour. Now, because you have got so many images on one sheet, because Dawn likes to absolutely cram the images, you can then fussy cut round the, so, um, like the heads or the crowns and things, and then decoupage them up for a fuller image as well. There we go, there's the kings. Just some of a plain background looks really striking as well. 
So you do get your colourful backgrounds, but equally you can make your own backgrounds. This was one uh, similar to the one I made this morning. Yeah. Um, this one has <laughs> been... What are you laughing at? <laughs> the angel. <laughs> you love her, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I'm going to cut some out for you so you Thank can you. keep them. Thank you. can make it into a little badge for you. Uh, but yeah, that'd be great if you could. <laughs> so um, this one, cut into different cardstock. Yeah. You can see they're out of pearl cardstock. Mm. Just add in some colour onto the cow there. Here I did something completely great. different using yeah. those sheeps and sheep sorry sheeps. not sheeps sheeps yeah <laughs> um the alphabet we have bought to you before just using your nesting dies there as well really cute different shaped cards you could be making little um storybooks for i children love that idea yeah as well couldn't you mm -hmm. um so nice idea another one here that's been made into a little story, but you could then be getting your children to write the nativity story to go with it. Nice family keepsake there. Another one using different stamps with it. Ooh, this cute. is cute. Well, Isn't that lovely? Dice. I think this is a yeah, oh, an is. easel card, card there. So something different there. Um, so this was using the frame that I think we had on this morning that has now sold out, I think, or there may I be... I think we've a, literally got about two left. Yeah, a handful left. And how nice is that? Using the little lights around it as well. I think that looks super oh, cute. And then as we great. go in the middle, look at that. Sarah's made that. Isn't that stunning? That is really good. Now, this is a real showstopper of a card. Mm. You're going to send that to someone you really like, aren't you? Absolutely, <laughs> you are. Um, but it just shows you the many ways that you can use this collection. $35.99 today, $47.99. Busy for this set, so make sure you uh, pick it up sooner rather than later. Now, we've also got lots of individuals on the show for you too, so let's show you some of the most popular uh, items that we've got. Rudolph, it would not be Christmas without uh, mice in the nativity and also um, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. Absolutely. Um, and again, this is brilliant because you, you get the die, um, mm -hmm. well, die set at an unbelievable price, but you also yep. get a download, don't you? You absolutely do. So you can use this with the cut into colour or you can use it on its own with your all your card stocks. We're going to be using this in our first demo. Again, the cut into colour that you're going to download um, no stipulations on how many times you want to um, print it out. And that's four cards right there. So yeah. you've got four images right there, um, different colourways. So really, really classic Christmas. Absolutely. This, this next set we're looking at, really traditional. And you get the outer die, don't you, of Rudolph, as well you as the do. inner die? Yes, yeah, and I'm going to show you that in the first demo, how that okay. works too. Uh, that is £7.19 or $9.59. Stock-wise on that one, a third of uh, Rudolph has gone. Then, talking about your traditional Christmas, uh, with a quarter of the stock gun, it doesn't get more traditional than the main Absolutely. man himself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so the Rudolph, the Santa, they're going to come out every Christmas. You know, we use these images all the time. Nice big size on this one yeah. as well. Um, so you've got two images on your download. And look at how much we've crammed on there with the oh, flowers, the foliage. Yeah. Um, so really, really nice die set there. He's just so jolly, isn't he? He is oh, yeah. jolly. Uh, £7.19, uh, $9.59. Don't ho ho hold off if you want to get that collection because it's proving very. Oh no! Oh, she's gone. Oh, she's gone. we're about to show you Matilda, oh. but don't scream and shout because she's now. She's gone. Sold out. Sold out. Sorry, I ruined your punch That's all right. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Don't scream George and shout, because yeah, it's so now. Sold down. I'll remember next time. Yeah. <laughs> um, next, <laughs> next up, who are we looking at next? Jonathan. Jonathan. Half of Jonathan's gone. Is he? Yes. Oh Which half? <laughs> <laughs> Painful, that, isn't it? <laughs> Again, absolutely crammed on your download here. And he's got his little doggy as well. Yes. So you're going to use that dog in other cards of as well. You are, yeah. Not just on your Christmas cards. Yeah. Um, this is a fun one because you can dress him up, put his, put his little hat on, keep him warm. Um, and you've got a couple of greetings on there. Just remind me, Ben, what they say. I can't read The this greetings one. say... <laughs> Festive fun and sending love. Lovely. Yeah. But again, you can use elements of this, like the presents you can use elsewhere, the dog, oh, yeah, the little absolutely. teddy bear, you know. Yeah, I'd be using those presents with the Santa die as yep. well, so teaming those up with there. Yeah. 
So that's Jonathan. Uh, half the stock gone there of uh, Jonathan. Then we've got Betty. Betty's a quarter of the stock gone now. Uh, and you guys were chatting so much about uh, beautiful Betty. This is such a lovely, lovely dye. It is. The detail on her dress is just exquisite, isn't it? So again, you get your, um, your embossed dye and then your outer dye to layer them up. She's got her cocktail there. We had a lengthy, lengthy oh, discussion about cocktails, a <laughs> wake-up call. She's got mistletoe. She's got stock in there. Um, and your download sheet, four cards from yeah. that one download sheet. Mm -hmm. Um, really great value. I mean, she is uh, proving very popular, as we said. Quarter of the stock gone. Uh, bigger stock of Betty as well, but uh, seven pounds nineteen, nine dollars fifty nine. Lots of chat about Bewitched and um, yes. I Love Lucy. I love Lucy, wasn't it? The other yeah. one. Yeah, definitely. Um, really, really love that collection. Proving very popular. And then the Holly. Oh, the Holly is limited stock. There's green on the screen, which means it soon, it soon won't be seen. I left it to George. Oh. <laughs> Which means soon won't be soon seen. Won't be seen. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can understand why a lot of people are going well, for this. Yes, because this to me is your bread and butter Christmas. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You're going to use it on every single Christmas card. You know, Holly is just, it's Holly, isn't it? It's, it is. It's a, one of those Christmas images. Nice to layer up and make wreaths or um, pop all round the centre of your focal point. Mm. You could put Holly all round Betty, couldn't you? Um, the different colourways on your download sheet as well here. Yeah. Um, but it looks stunning whether you use the download, whether you use your own coloured card, equally as stunning. And all those berries as well. Absolutely. Uh, £7.19 platinum, so less than 10% of the stock remaining here. 9 59 is the deal on that if you're shopping in the US. I've left the stamps over there. I'll get them. I'll get them. Quick, no, 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 it's if you quickly <laughs> run over there. And I'll say, look at that great price. And here's Sharon <laughs> with. Have I left anything else over there? Whilst I look? No, you've no, got we're all the good, aren't we? That side, okay. That side. Stamps. <laughs> you definitely need to go with these. Whatever you go f with from the dies, these are a perfect partner, aren't yes. they? Yes. And again, these are going to go right through your card making, your yeah. Christmas card making. So you've got a whole host of sentiments there. You've got your finishing touches, your holly, your poinsettia, your uh, snowflakes there as well. And we just need a little sentiment sometimes to yeah. finish off a card. So you've got lots of different things there. And you've got words that will link together. So you've got seasons greetings, you could have Christmas greetings, Merry Christmas. What have we got down the bottom here? Um, cheer, wishes, so you could have Christmas wishes, festive fun, and of course, step into Christmas, which is this collection. £10.79, $14.39. Uh, Samantha just saying, these dyes, so much fun. Kim saying, I love the Dawn Bibby line. Uh, beautiful samples from the DB design team, says Michelle Walsh. Oh, I know Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Betty okay. says, looks like he, that's Jonathan, is ready for a snowball fight. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. He does. <laughs> um, and Lillian Cox says, I love the sheep. <laughs> and she then says, bah humbug. Because <laughs> it's a sheep. That's, that's the sort of joke you'd come up with. I love that. <laughs> bah humbug. Ben will be adding that to his dad's joke book. Yeah, that's in the book. <laughs> uh, and then we've got, again, another collection, which you absolutely, if you can, I know I tell you to buy everything, but um, if you can, <laughs> pop this one in, because not only is this going to be great working with the elements that you've got on the show, but again, you keep saying that phrase, I like it, bread and butter Christmas yep. time, this, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. You've got traditional... Um, kind of classic images here you've got more contemporary colors as well with the pinks that we're going to come on to the foiling is beautiful Look at that. it's really and that's luxury on yeah your card, yeah you know? if you go into a high street card shop mm -hmm. and you've got that alphabet haven't you a b when you get down to gg they're the foiled cards yeah you know, yeah the ones that cost you quite a few pounds <laughs> exactly right um so that takes your card making to the next level with those foiling snowflakes there so pretty and again you've got the Again, with the foiling. Yeah, absolutely. If you bought the um, got your hands on the Winter Sparkle collection recently, those mm -hmm. will work beautifully mm -hmm. with that. And again, you've got something a little bit more, um, more modern, modern yeah. yeah. With this one, with yeah. the trees in the background, but then um, and the blue. Oh, look at that! Love that green, green and gold. Yeah, absolutely perfect together. Very classy. Really nice. So you get eight designs again, three sheets of each. That's right. So yes. you've seen all the designs, but again, it's, it's a it's a big old uh, big old collection it there. Is. Twenty four sheets for just nine thirty five or twelve forty seven. Um, GSM on that is two sixty. Yeah. If you so want to grab, it's yeah. Um, do you want to head that way? I will do. I'll oh, just do you want to show some? 
Yeah. Should we just quickly wait? You can choke up yeah. if you like. Go on. Right. Yeah, why not? We made an executive decision yeah. there, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> so we have the reindeer there using the download. Okay, so that's how it's going to look with um, the download. But I'm going to show you how to do it with some different card later. We have Betty there that's been inked. Oh, wow. So, um, you know, once you've um, done some downloads, you might want a different look and ink her up. There is Betty with her children. This is beautiful. Using that background paper there in, with the holly there, making a nice shaped card. So just a touch of that using with your other dies. Here he comes. Oh, Here's oh, oh. Santa with all his presents. You've got the kitty cats on the bottom there. Another one done here with Betty by colouring her in. Giving her a little bit of a posh frock there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ready She's for the party. She's off to the party, Christmas party. Um, oh, a plaque cute. here, a tag as well, bringing in your mixed media. Um, you could make a Santa, please stop here. Oh, like an it's yeah. like a, um, oh, a yeah, wooden, yeah. A wooden um, base there. You could do Santa, please stop here, couldn't you? You like could that. add chalkboard paint, mm -hmm. how many sleeps till Santa, that kind of thing. Again, home decor with the photo frame there. I just love him. That's really he's really cute. He's got such a good look on his face, hasn't he? Mixing in with your poinsettias there and the holly. Again, jolly, jolly Santa. Oh, and I love finally, this. again, a nice, maybe a Christmas gift for somebody. Um, adding in your papers um, and the holly there as well. So that's your holly download used on that one. 128 days till Santa, Johnny Is tells it me. Really? 19 no, fr that, see that doesn't Nin seem like any time at all what, 19 <gasps> weeks today is father christmas is christmas day wow it's father christmas <laughs> <That's sweet. laughs> you're such a child 19 <laughs> weeks today father christmas time i can't believe that That's... that is actually quite scary better get buying all your christmas goodies because you're going to need to make start making cards right yeah mm. especially if you're doing christmas fairs mm. you know christmas that, that will start in october september christmas fairs, well september once mm. children go back to school that's it because that is yeah. it isn't it once the kids go yeah. back it's countdown to christmas time yeah you've got halloween and then boom it's christmas yeah so mm -hmm. step quickly do you want to go that way <laughs> i'm going to step this way yeah you step into <laughs> christmas, into christmas. Hey. <laughs> uh keep the comments coming through if there's anything you want to ask um sharon over the course of this show uh, or indeed her uh, next show which will be coming up at uh, 7 o'clock this evening 2 o'clock Eastern then feel free uh, if there's anything else that you want to see in more detail then do let us know and also let us know what you've been shopping for uh, from Dawn Bibby Creations because we would love to know um, but uh, we're going to get ready for our first demo of this show and we're going to have a look at um, Santa's partner in crime the one with the big red nose uh, no not producer Johnny uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, we're going to look at Rudolph, aren't we, of We course. are going to look at Rudolph, yes, not Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> so, just to recap on your downloads sheet. So, with your um, Rudolph, you're getting four images, different colourways as well. It's nice to have that option on your different colour. When you um, print these out, they will look a little bit hazy, and that's to give you space to pop your dies round. Um, so, once you die cut them out, it will be a crisper image. So, don't worry if you print it out and you think, oh, don't like that die cut it and then it will give you that crisper image so that's one option of how to use your dies the other option is to use the cardstock that you already have in your stash so with the outer die here i have cut him in silver so this gives you your um, basic shape your base shape and then when you use your second die the inner die you can see all that debossing detail on him really really beautiful yeah, so all we do then is uh -huh. we stick oops take the lid off first <laughs> we then just stick i mean that looks gorgeous on its own doesn't it really it does very elegant and actually i'm just thinking ben we could use this all year round as well. You know, the stag is oh, an iconic yeah. image, isn't it, for your woodland cards? And a lot of people chat about um, stags for like male cards as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, definitely. Um, lots, lots of people love the woodland theme in card making as well and home decor. So you could use this all year round. You could also chop the antlers off and have it as a female deer. You couldn't could. You? So you could then do um, a Mr. and Mrs. card with that. That would be nice. Love that with idea. Nice, like nice tartan um, cardstock in the background. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? Mm -hmm. Oh, 
sell myself sometimes. The ideas are <laughs> flowing. <laughs> now, I'm just chopping back to yesterday, Johnny, Ooh, sorry. I'm just going to bring in this stencil, right. which I think we still have available. This was one from our gingerbread street. Um, should be able to see that on the website still. And I'm going to emboss that. So I've got some silver satin card. So I just take my Gemini plates here. I then need to pop my stencil down. I'm going to pop the cardstock on top. Then the rubber mat. Doesn't matter that I'm using the small rubber mat because I only want to use that A5 stencil anyway. And then we're going to run this through our machine and we're going to make our own textured. Oh, I may have popped that in the wrong place. Hang on a second. So is that the candy cane stripes embossing stencil? It certainly is. Gotcha. Yes, yes it's still there. Good price had, as well on that. I think we had three stencils on yesterday. So you can do this technique with any of the stencils. But yes, this was the candy cane one from our gingerbread street collection, which everybody was loving yesterday. Yeah. Um, so any of the stencils that we bring you from Dawn, you can do this technique, absolutely no problem. And you're making your own embossed cardstock. Um, when, when we're buying expensive um, cardstock, you know, embossed cardstock can be quite pricey. So with your stencils, as well as being able to ink through them, embossed, um, you know, use all your inky techniques, you can then create your own textured background as yeah. well. So that's nice. I said yesterday, that's nice for men's backgrounds too, I think. So we're going to then map that onto a darker grey card. So we're working all in greys and silver here. Um, and I know, you know, some people like silver at Christmas, some people like gold. Some people like a bit of both because you can never have too much bling at Christmas, can you? Absolutely. <laughs> the blingier, the better. Have a blingtastic Christmas. That's what Absolutely. I always say. Absolutely. So for my card base, I have used um, a piece of Dawn's Pearl cardstock in the silver, yep. folded it in half to make our A5 card. Uh, we will try and bring the Pearl cardstock back for you again because I know everybody loved it last time. So that's our base. So our stag now is going to sit in the middle. So when we're using, um, we're working tone on tone, but using different colours of cardstock. Yeah. In the, so different shades, sorry. Um, different textures. It all works together and gives a really professional, uh, beautiful look. So we're going to pop our reindeer lots of love for the reindeer coming through great for scrapbooking layouts too says mary Ooh, pat yes, yes, love the design says kim this is so pretty uh and judith walsh says hi sharon judith from tiptree here oh judith yeah judith came to a workshop with me and she bought me some jam from tiptree which was rather nice oh really and i made scones yeah oh. another lady brings strawberries so well, we hang on a minute tea didn't we judith was there any crafting got done or was it mainly oh, yeah. just oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah we did do crafting yeah we did <laughs> right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in this little die here which is a holly wreath i'm going to pop that round the reindeer here i do love the interaction you have here with um viewers being able to message in it's really lovely it's great isn't it yeah it is they can it's ask nice the questions isn't it? they can tell yeah. you how good your cards are they can say how much they love my jokes <laughs> uh, all right and johnny you're singing and your impressions <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me to pipe down but, no, but the point is it's great isn't it there's nothing quite like um us i really believe that you can say hello you can ask a question you can share your makes with us as well yeah totally definitely. interactive definitely yeah all good fun so then as part of this die set we've mm -hmm. got these little um, baubles these little bells bells and baubles so we're then going to pop those hanging from the antlers I was hoping you were going to do that <laughs> is that what you would have done Ben yeah <laughs> blingtastic <laughs> antlers is what you need well exactly exactly so we can just pop these down here so these do come onto your cut into color sheet as i say but i have gone just all in silvers today 
just to do something different, give you some different ideas. With I really like guys. it. Do you know what? I think Christmas time, I'm more of the the reds and the greens and your sort of traditional yep. Christmas. But I really like. I think this works. It's very. Um, it's very expensive. Absolutely. As I say, Luxurious. if you went into your, you know, the American president's card shop. Um, you know. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> Very good. Bill's, Bill's card shop, you know. <laughs> this would be Bill's. right down that menu list. Yeah. You know, GG, whatever. It would be, you know, probably six quid, something like that, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. You know. Yeah. So then we've got another couple of little baubles <laughs> here. American President's card shop. <laughs> I've never thought of that before. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I meant, though, Ben, didn't you? Hang on, I didn't know there was a... Is there a car shop called Biden's? <laughs> I should have said ex-American oh, president, sorry. Still very funny. <laughs> I don't know if that's... Is that Not an American Donald's car shop as well? I don't know. I don't know, actually. Not that we need to step foot in places like no, that. No, because, because we can make, we our, make own. our own exquisite cards. Sometimes it's good to do a little bit of research, isn't it? Just oh, yeah, oh, yeah. To see the current trends and things like that. Mm. Susie just said, um, I don't get it, which makes me think there isn't. There's a, there's, a, there's a chain of card shops here in the UK called Clinton's, hence the, <laughs> the joke. Don't worry, I always have to explain yes, my jokes yeah. as well. It's fine, <laughs> you get used to it. I didn't say the brand name, you did. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> other, other card shops are available. But like we said, we don't need them own. because we can make our own. Make your own. So I'm just adding here the little bells yep. hanging around the reindeer's neck as well. So we're building that up there. Johnny said it doesn't matter, we're all right. We're not in trouble. <laughs> Do you know what as well though? I, I mean, I've done a little bit of crafting and um, it was my wife's birthday yesterday and I made her a card, the first birthday card I've made for her actually. And um, she was genuinely shocked and delighted Aww. with um, the card that I made her. And it was sent, like she laid out all the other cards she got sent on the windowsill and the lamb and mine was bang slap in the center. Aww. As if to say that was her very special one favorite yeah, yeah. So. i know some some people frame handmade cards that they receive yeah. don't they because they're just so beautiful but in a nice feeling it's i think it's such a nice feeling to get that kind of feedback from the recipient yeah definitely, definitely. and i think they appreciate it more as well when they know that you've taken time over yeah. making it Do you know if judith is still watching judith actually bought a, um, a canvas that i'd made oh yeah and she asked me to sign it on the back and i was i was really chuffed that she you know she loved the canvas so much and asked me to sign it as a, you know, a one-off piece of artwork. Wow. So it's lovely when people buy your handmade things. And we're saying that Dawn has an angel-free policy. She loves it. If she goes to a craft fair and sees, you know, um, a, a stall set up, you, that somebody has made cards using her products, she loves to see that. Well, it must that. be a real thrill for someone yeah. who's involved in designing the Absolutely. product. Absolutely. So I've now gone on to the holly set, which I think we still have, don't we? Um, so yep. we're using the holly. Oh, it's green, isn't it's, it? It's green, yeah. You're less than 10% of the stock. You've got to be very quick if you want to pick that up. So I've cut the holly all in silver again. Yep. So tone on tone, keeping on the silver. What size is this card, Mary Beth asks? This is A5. A5, A5. card, this one. Is that the same in America? Do they have the same size in as us? It's slightly... Um, uh, so give it to an in inches. Yeah. It's um, far, uh, so five and a half inches by just over eight inches. Okay. So five by eight inches. And there's literally how many of these left, Johnny? Uh, it was less than ten... Well, there's five left. Next five people to uh, put this and check it out, it's gone. Then also in your holly set, you get this gorgeous fern. Again, not just for Christmas, you know, all your woodland cards you're going to be using this with so we're just building that up at the bottom there you could as you said earlier you could be making wreath yeah. cards with these you know or even on a, a wooden mdf wreath you could use that as well that would look beautiful um, and these berries i think these are gorgeous too so i've cut those in a darker um the darker gray there too so it all coordinates all works together so if you're not sure where to start, just pick a colour and die cut all your bits in shades of that colour. Um, we could replicate this in gold. We could replicate this in um, like bronzy colours as well. Coppers. 
Yeah, Equally I think um, beautiful. if you were to tell somebody about this and then not show them, it might be difficult to kind of imagine it, but now when you see it, yeah. on the page yeah yeah because i think you always think you have to use different colors to, to yeah. create something no, but this sometimes is a... it can can look a bit too busy if yeah. we're using too many different colors um so i, I would say if you have a, a colored image try and pick out just like maybe two or three colors to then work with or work like this work just in one color in different shades so i'm just adding the little pieces of holly which i think came on the um, reindeer dye set as well and i think we'll stop there well oh, we could just add actually um i've got this 3d accents that i used earlier too this time in the silver i don't think it wants to work for me let me just test it out Nope, let's go to the darker one because this one is brand new. So let's take this off. Oh, what's in there? So this is a 3D um, pearl accent. Oh, yes. And then I'm just going to add this. I'm just going to test it first because you know what's going to happen. It will come out too fast. <laughs> so I'm just going to add some berries down here and that will dry to a raised finish. And then I'm going to go over these berries here too, like I did earlier. And there we go. We have now got our finished Rudolph there. I mean, as I say, that is just it's phenomenal. That looks like it's a card that would be sent with like a very expensive piece of jewellery. Oh, yes. Or something. Do you Ooh, know nice. what I mean? Yeah. It's got that yeah, really yeah. expensive, as you said, GG feel to it. <laughs> as to where it would be. <laughs> in that term now. Yes, into that uh, <laughs> card shop named after the American president. Phenomenal. And the kind of thing that you can do. And that, that make, again, far and away from what you might expect with uh, you know the um, the downloads that you're going to get but isn't it great that you've got that idea now to take away if you want to go more traditional and use your more sort of uh, you know your reds and greens and use the colors that you've got within your download that you'll get of course you can do just lots of different options uh, and ideas for you as well um, Yes, so read the measurement. Mary Beth is saying, thank you for answering. This could easily be made into a five by seven. Love the idea. And loads of you are saying how stunning that beautiful reindeer is. Seven pounds 19 is uh, the price. Platinum, $9.59. If you want to go for the holly, uh, this is very limited, super limited, about to disappear limited, this one. It's literally hanging on by a thread. Uh, in fact, if you uh, all check out your baskets right now, uh, people are going to miss out on this. So uh, get it whilst it is still here. If you've got it in your basket, check it out as a matter of urgency because that one is going to disappear seven pounds 19 nine dollars 59 platinum price again with the free download uh, and then also wow these are flying now as well you guys are just seeing the um, absolute need to have these in your stock the background paper pad uh, half the stock of these has now gone when you consider this like a 24 sheet pack for under a tenner if you're platinum under 13 dollars you're gonna get 24 sheets eight designs three of each you get some real traditional colors in here. You get beautiful foiling in there as well. That gold foiling is stunning. And you've got things like your holly, like your poinsettias in there. Look at that, the gorgeous gold on red is absolutely beautiful. Snowflakes, of course. Then again, you've got that snowflake foiling um, onto the blue, which looks amazing. You've got the beautiful Christmas trees in there, a little bit more traditional, and then, the gold and the green here really giving you that kind of I don't know again a bit of an expensive Christmas I think that it looks gorgeous um, all of those in there says so those are the eight designs that I've just shown you you get three of each that's your 24 sheets 260 GSM uh, nine pounds 35 is your price on that or uh, $12.47 um, if you're platinum and you want to jump in and grab it but half the stock has gone also very very busy for the mousemas christmas collection uh, again i think um you guys are looking at this now and thinking it's so very different so super cute but very adaptable this collection too because you're not just going to be using this at christmas time uh, and i think this set that you're going to get in the collection is a case in point right there because uh, you've got the uh, farmyard animals in there so you can use that year round the sheep the uh, pig the donkey the cow i did love the bar humbug which i think 
That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> stealing that, Lillian, stealing that. Be great for sending some, you know, a card to someone who's a little bit, who is a little bit bar humbug about Christmas. I think that would work beautifully. But that's the die set there for the uh, nativity scene. You've then, of course, got your three kings as well, the, the little mice there who are so super duper cute. They come with uh, the present dies as well, so you can really go to town there. And of course, with it being a nativity, even if it's a mass nativity, you've got to have uh, Mary and Joseph and the little baby there, uh, who is so super cute, tucked up in his blanket uh, you even get the um, the star of wonder there too so that's all included and alongside that you've then got your cut into color pad as well once again uh, this is uh, 24 a4 sheets 260 gsm eight designs three of each literally just going through here showing you what are the eight designs that you're going to get you'll get all of these three times over but of course you just use your dies to cut into your cut into color packs and then you've got beautiful uh, ready to go die cuts to place onto your cards you know, layer these up decoupage these up if you want to use them individually if you want to you've even got some beautiful scenes in there as well which you can um, snip into to layer up onto your cards uh, the daytime scene and the nighttime scene on the uh, little mice heading off to bethlehem 35 pounds 90 $47.99 is the platinum price on that collection if you want to jump in and grab it proved very very busy on that don't forget as well um, on the website to check out our uh, penny deals page on there we've also got that riddle which we'll recap on for you later and our uh, multi-purpose in the A3 is proving so so super popular that wants to go into your basket uh, with the goodies that you're getting off this show as well uh, we're into the final 25 minutes unbelievably I don't know where the last three hours has gone it's flown by for me uh, what we're going to looking at next more of the mouse mouse mice we're gonna mices. go to the mouse mice, but we're not gonna do Christmas we're oh. gonna do something totally different with it so I have cut a piece of stamping card here and we're gonna ink this up first of all so we're gonna bring in um, actually I am going to I did do this yesterday um, on one of our gingerbread cards oh yeah so I'm gonna just tear a piece of card first Pop some blue ink down now to make the sky. So we're gonna we're gonna go from Christmas into spring, Ben. I think. Well, that's what doing. follows, isn't it? Yeah, I natural love progression. I love spring. I love spring when all the plants start to grow back. Yeah. And the lights, the nights start drawing out, don't they? They and do. Of course, it. it's getting darker now, spring. isn't it? It is. It's getting certainly noticeable is. when we leave here. So then we're gonna go on to green. Okay and do some fields here spring your favorite season is it yes i think so mm. i love to see all the flowers coming back um yeah i just love spring love it and then summer's not far away is it no and then what and then after summer <laughs> i mean it's autumn i know and i know it's winter again <laughs> happens every year time just flies does i still cannot go over what johnny's just told us about christmas what was it 19 fridays mm. crazy crazy cra although i do know some people are doing their christmas shopping already so hats off yeah. to you if you are i know some um, people who go to the, the boxing day sales and the new year sales yeah. to buy christmas presents yes. for the following christmas crazy how do you know what someone's going to want a year later though well exactly you i know. do i do find that hard with the children that you know to know what mm. they're going to want <laughs> Johnny. yeah we all get you know, we all get socks pants <laughs> deodorant yeah shower gel moisturizer i get more of as i get older as well don't know if my family <laughs> trying to tell me something so we've just created that little background scene now I'm going to just bring in the gingerbread stamps that we had on yesterday mm -hmm. as well and use this little stamp here. So we said there's lots of little feature stamps on this particular stamp set. I think you'll be able to find that on the website still, the gingerbread stamps. Yep, gingerbread street stamps. And then I'm going to go in with green because I thought this looked like little tufts of grass on here. So we're just adding in a few because the animals are going to need something to eat. Aren't they, they are. It's not good at the moment, is it, with how dry it is for our, our farmyard animals at the no. moment in this country? I don't think, no, it can't be. I was going to say, like, because with horses, I, I'm beginning to learn about horses because um, 
my daughter's got into them, much yeah. to my uh, wallet's dismay. Um, <laughs> you can't leave horses out in the field for too long, can you? Because they eat the grass, but they can't have too much grass. No, but I think they're mm. quite good at regulating their own heat, though, I think. Oh. Um, because behind my shop, I have, um, there's about 10 horses that live in oh, paddocks yeah. behind my shop. Yeah, and uh, one of the ladies was saying, you know, it's, it's, they've not they've not been doing too bad in this heat so that's mm. good to know so we've just used that little stamp just to create a little bit of grass this is one of them ones ben that i'm doing as i go along have you could you tell yeah, oh yeah <laughs> make it up as i go along exactly. right so we need some animals so we're going to have donkey we're going to have the sheep so the sheep we've got two different sizes and they cut at the same time which is a, a dye i like to use and we've got our little piggy there. So we're going to run those through the Gemini, like so. Love the cards, says Joe. EB says some gorgeous papers. And by the way, we missed a trick here. Syl Sparkly says, with the mice, I want to see a, a card with baby Jesus. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Cheese! Oh, with the mice! That's really good. Syl, that's brilliant. <laughs> I wish I'd thought of it. Yeah, Ben's really jealous that he didn't yeah. actually think of that now. <laughs> Baby Jesus. That's oh, a good one. Oh, that dear. was a good one. Yeah, we like it. <laughs> Ben's going to make a note of that now. Oh, yeah, that's another He's one. He's going to write it down now that he wishes he thought of. Let's do just another pig and some sheep. And on the subject of Christmas presents, should I says, Lord Ben, socks, not a bad thing. My last boy is 30 and he loves socks with characters. Oh. When his birthday comes round, he doesn't get the socks, his face changes, and then he says, Mama, where's my socks? Oh. <laughs> I, I think I would be disappointed if I did yes. get socks and, socks and pants at Christmas. Is a yeah. not, me, not musical socks, though. Or, oh, no. Or character. Oh, ones, and the socks with the days of the week on. Or what? Socks with days of the week on oh, that you have yeah. to keep together and you can't wear Friday on a Monday. Yeah, oh. I know. No, it's I can't be confused with things, that. confuses things, doesn't it? <laughs> Johnny says you can Jesus be a rebel. <laughs> Friday socks on a Monday. Oh dear. <laughs> Deborah Spencer's 90% done with Christmas. Oh. Does that mean you're 90% well done. done with as in you're fed up with She's it? She's fed up with it. <laughs> or, you've, or you've done your shopping. I'm done with Christmas. <laughs> right, so we're going to add a little bit of colour now to our animals. So once you add the colour here, can you see that deboss detail now coming through? Let me just hold it up to see if we can see that just about. Let's add a little bit more colour so we can see. I thought George was going to get. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, <Hello>, George. <laughs> <laughs> you see his cute little face there. Does anyone well ever done, think, George. you know, when, it, well when George does, or Charlotte do the close-ups, does it, I sometimes expect when he gets so close, a little grabby claw to come out and, <laughs> and, and grab the item and pick it up and take it away? <laughs> that will be the robots in the future, yeah. <laughs> you buy it and then, yes, the claw will come down, grab it and then put it in a parcel and deliver it to you. Oh, oh those grabber machines. You, you never win a teddy out of those. No. You never win a teddy. <laughs> so we've got little piggies. Now, with our sheep, we'll add just a little bit of brown just around there, just to highlight those as well. So we had a question uh, yesterday about how to colour your die cuts oh, yeah. um, when you're using different cardstock. So here is a very easy, achievable way of doing that. So I've just cut them out into white card. Mm -hmm and just inking round so that's a really easy way of colouring those die cuts but of course you have got um, unlimited download on this now so you don't have to worry if your cut into colour does run out because you have got that download facility um, so yes um Shazia has just said hello Shazia 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 yeah. says hi Sharon hello and then we're going to do our donkey finally um, Tony's just asked where you go to get the download or do you get like um, a... So you will, when you have your order, you should receive details ah. in your parcel you know. um, and it will be onto Dawn's website. Fine. But you should all have that as a code 
Um, is that right, Johnny? You have it as a like a compliment slip in your parcel. Yeah, you get believe. sent a code with yeah, your with your fabulous. item. So we've got donkey there as well. Just going to clean up the ink there because we don't want that on the back of our card. <laughs> and Deborah's just come back to say she's ninety percent done with her Christmas shopping, not ninety percent done with Christmas. <laughs> I knew. I was just being annoying. Right, so then we're going to pop this together now. So I'm working on a 7x7 seven seven card. Yep. So we've got our inky background here, which we're going to pop down onto green card. And then we're going to mat onto a blue as well. I think when you work in the craft world and you make and sell your crafts, I don't tend to think about Christmas presents till at least the 1st of December. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the 24th of December then for a second. Oh, oh no, I couldn't leave it that late. I couldn't leave it that late. <laughs> I've only done it once actually. I got a lot of presents but been out on Christmas Eve and went shopping and it was quite, there was something quite nice about it. Nice um, atmosphere, was it? Just everyone yeah. seemed quite happy and, you know, it's quite a festive sort of feeling going out sort of early Christmas Eve and getting a few presents. You get some bargains as well probably don't you yeah. Christmas Eve? Yeah. You certainly do Boxing Day as well in the Boxing well, that, Day absolutely sales. Absolutely right yeah half price sales and whatnot. That I can't understand you see people who go out shopping on Boxing Day. No. I couldn't think of anything worse. I've done a little bit of internet shopping on yeah. Boxing Day before. Yeah but maybe have a little browse on your tablet whilst you're watching yeah. a Christmas movie but. Yeah. Not While you're Boxing eating your Day. leftovers. Mm. <laughs> so we're then going to stand our little donkey on there. Let's bring in some of our sheep as well. So these animals are not just for Christmas. They're for all year they round. They are for all year round. I could see um, Easter cards with this Absolutely, one as well, yeah. actually. Would be very cute. Let's put little sheep down here. Well, as you showed us earlier on, for little uh, new baby cards with the sheep. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you cards as well. Uh, <laughs> very good. Very good, Ben. <laughs> oh, they just keep on coming, don't they? <laughs> Shadia says, Sharon, please tell Dawn she's got to get more of her glue on the show. I can never get hold of it yes. unless I get it here. Thank you. Yes, we will. We will next time. Absolutely. And the dye storage, because you've all been loving the dye storage too, haven't you? Mm. So we will absolutely. Oh, yeah, that sold out, didn't it? Didn't even yep. bring it to the show today. We will absolutely do that for you. So it's a very popular glue. So, um,. I've only got Christmas greetings here, but if I had like a happy birthday or something on there, actually, let's go with, so this is from the gingerbread, sweet wishes. Let's go sweet wishes on here in the top. So this was from our gingerbread stamp set from yesterday. So I'm going to go in with blue and we'll have sweet up there so sweet sweet wishes so i'm thinking a nice nice child's card this one mm. you know if it was a first or second birthday you could then personalize with the age in the corner as well we did have um actually on the show yesterday we had um an alphabet and a numbers die set oh yeah on the show yesterday so then you could add the child's um age in there so just a, a diff totally different way of using those animals there so cute little children's card perhaps absolutely brilliant and again shows you uh, reasons why this particular collection is brilliant for christmas but then great for the year round as well because you can use it in so many different projects uh, which is great um deborah spencer says i love 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 christmas i start decorations the friday after black friday shopping when's black friday that's like november isn't it so your decorations are going up mid-november um lillian's just asking do we know when you're back when you are dawn are back next on crafters tv um hopefully sometime in september oh, hopefully. okay hopefully um, and I love this message from Sylve who says, him indoors is quite a sweet tooth and he's been checking biscuits online to add to our shopping. He's Portuguese. He was quite curious about some biscuits with beef. They're cat biscuits. 
I don't know if he ordered them or not. But that is brilliant. Uh, lots of love for that card as well coming through. CZC is just saying so adorable. I'll tell you what, whilst we've got uh, just around about 10 minutes of the show to go, we'll do a quick little vote. What's going to be your fave? So, uh, Debbie's card that she made, just the one, of course, because it was craft along. Uh, are you going to vote for numero uno? Uh, Debbie's beautiful card, complete with little stand, uh, is number one. And then we've got Sharon's two makes. Oh, two. We this have is number be tough. two with the reindeer and number three with the farmyard animals. Mm. Uh, one, two or three. You've got about three or four minutes to get your votes in on that one. Um, should I just says, I love the calligraphy writing of Dawn's sentiments. They are uh, neatly done. Um, Beck Shepherd says, how amazing is our Sharon? says proud friend in brackets Aww. and another That's question very quickly uh, uh ben please this is from crafty angie please ask sharon if she can bring the regency collection back i don't know how i missed it but i would like to get the woman man and the carriage is ah, that still around okay um i think so i yeah. think so we had it here did i do that with you I that think. was um I... the jubilee weekend wasn't it it was yes yeah you and i yeah leave it with me okay <laughs> Um, let's have a look at, do you know what, before we just quickly look through the, um, the, the sort of metal, if you like, the dies, we have a quick look at a few cards for you as well, because I think these really um, bring the product to life. I love that little rocker that you've got there, uh, with the kings on. Then you've got a beautiful card here again, with, uh, again, the scene built up. I love the fact that you've got the... You've got Mary and um, Joseph Mouse on the front with some of the characters, and then you open it up and you've got the rest of the scene inside. So that's just backed onto a bit of acetate with the stars shining through. Uh, this I really love as well. Again, just snipping into the backgrounds that you're gonna get with your, um, your cut into color pack. Again, um, building up those scenes differently. Um, you know, the fact that you get um, multiple of each character, of course, as well, means that you can kind of um, decoupage these up should you wish to as well. They're just brilliant. They're so much fun. And I, I, again, you know, so many different Christmas collections this year. This one um, is a standout for me. So very different. Really, really cute. Um, and I just... Yeah. I absolutely love it. And I, I love, again, the way this one beautifully backed onto um, the, one of the scenes that you're going to get in your cut into colour but the depth and dimension that you've got with that as well just works so well absolutely doesn't it? I forgot to show you this one actually oh, go on. um, so this is a totally totally different look I did oh, this wowzers. yesterday for a gingerbread man yeah um, so what I've done is I've die cut all those dies from craft card and then used a white gel pen over the top yeah and just added some of this um, raffia to look like the straw in the manger um, and this one was similar to the card we just made with a stenciled background and then stars in the sky and the shepherd and the sheep. So there's so much you can do with them. So versatile. And just to, again, just, I'll show you the full set in a minute, but just again, just to show you that this isn't just for Christmas as we've seen. Uh, look, baby card. I mean, I know Sharon showed that a minute ago. That's so cute. Um, again, used dies from this collection. And once again, a very different card here. Uh, just using the animals how different is that compared to what we've already seen yeah yeah so yeah. used with um just colored pearl card there yeah and layered up and a nice um embossed background with a stencil there as well for a nighttime sky very very uh lovely collection i'll show you everything that you're going to get we do have a winner already come through uh for the demo of the show um but this, I'll show, if I show you the cut into colour first of all, so this pack you're going to receive within the bundle. So you get 24 sheets, eight designs, three of each. So you get the uh, characters in a whole array of different costumes and different colours, I should say, really. Uh, but again, you look at this for um, sniffability. You've got five uh, Marys and Josephs there, five mangers. So it's five cards, really, that you've got um, in one piece. You're going to get that three times over, so 15 cards right away, uh, right there. Uh, and not only all of the different characters you're going to get within this, you get all the little farmyard animals you get the uh, stable to be able to cut out as well and then on top of that you will get some of the beautiful scenes in there too but i just think this is such a, uh, a cool way again to get into crafting because yes. initially you might think well i'm not going to get the dyes because i'd worry about coloring them in but you don't have to worry with no, this no exactly it's a good point actually ben it's a, it's a good beginner's kit and then you can progress to yeah. the coloring of the dyes like i've just shown you so yeah good starter kit uh, love these scenes as well i really love that with the sunset gorgeous 
It, it's a bit, it uh, reminds me a bit of Indiana Jones or something like yes, that. that yeah, scene. I was thinking Lion King. Oh, Lion so. King, yeah. 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 Uh, or Aladdin, indeed. But then you've got the, um, the nighttime scene as well, so don't forget you get three each of those uh, within that set. Then you're going to get all of the characters as you've just seen on the cards. So you've got the uh, Mary and Joseph Mouse. <laughs> Not quite sure what's going on in my ear there. But George, George, was that George singing? Wow, <laughs> I think that's what he was doing anyway. Uh, then you've got the, uh, the kings in there as well, complete with their, um, their gifts. Three gifts, Brie, Cheddar, Wensleydale. And then you've got the baby Jesus, by the way. I've just thought of that again, whoever put that was Sylv, wasn't it? And then you've got all of the characters there too. So the donkey, the sheep, sheep cow, uh, that was you that started that, that one. That uh, you've got your little mouse shepherd in there as well. You've got the mouse angel. Uh, you've got piggy, and you've got the uh, the stable, of course, there too. Thirty-five pounds ninety-nine. That collection is proving really popular. It is a lot of fun. Um, and you guys are buying it in your droves. Lots of people will be shopping uh, during the break as well. Demo of the show. Well, it's one. It is beautiful. It is it gorgeous. Is beautiful. To be fair, um, I, I mean, I loved that. I loved your card with the silver as well, mm -hmm. which I think was a very close second. Uh, but well done to Debbie. That will be going up onto the Crafty Walk of Fame, uh, and you could be voting for it as your favourite a little bit later on. Um, are you up for doing another show later? I'm up at seven. Yeah? yeah seven o'clock. Yeah. So last chance to lose, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, Thank always you. fun, always brilliant. Some great demonstrations, some great product as well from Dawn Bibby, as always is the case. Uh, don't forget to uh, check out your basket. Um, if you are um, shopping with us right now, uh, as a matter of urgency, they, um, the holly needs to be checked out and everything else actually proving really, really popular. Don't forget as well the penny sale on the website right now. So that's worth looking at. Buy one item, get a second item for a penny. You'll see the page for that on the home page. Uh, and also don't forget, of course, that A3 multi-purpose cards, which is flying out of the door. One final thing for me too is the riddle for today uh, is this one. I usually hold books but you crafty folk will know I'm great for organising your paper and card collections as it grows. Hot am I? Um, if you can work out what that is, type it into the search bar. <laughs> no, that was um, going for gold. Hot am I? Um, yeah. <laughs> type it into the, the search bar at the top and um, <laughs> And if you've got it right, I think a little question mark comes up. Well, you'll see it anyway. You'll see it anyway. Today's one is amazing. The, the discount is big. Yesterday's riddle, um, I'm sometimes filled with spices and dishes, but for crafters, I'll fulfill your paper craft wishes. I can't help it. Every time I do it, I go to Brucey. Bits and pieces for your scrapbook pages. Find them in me. It won't take ages. That was a scrap rack yesterday. You're welcome. It's still there with that huge discount. And then Wednesdays, I dance on a Saturday night, turn in the disco light. My fox dot tango and jam brighten everyone's night. My crafting counterpart knows how to put on a show, but when it comes to crafting, she's the ultimate pro. Uh, so ultimate pro was <laughs> Wednesdays. So if you type that in, you'll get a big discount. I have to go for a lie down. Um, so I'll go and do that. We'll be back in an hour's time. At six o'clock will be Masterclass, all things Christmassy. Seven o'clock, 2 p.m. Eastern will be uh, Dawn Bibby with Sharon. And then uh, our final hour of Masterclass coming up from eight, which will be three o'clock Eastern. Thanks for watching. Until then, uh, bye for now.